No, I'm continuing with Sonic Heroes, so. Uh, Are you doing the Dark storyline today, or...? Yeah, it's Team Dark. Uh, we're starting today. Hey, how's it going, Ian? Nice to see you. Hi. You're online now? Why the hell? I just said I was going live! <laughs> now it's like, why the fuck is that showing up on my There we go. <laughs> now it's like, why the fuck is that showing up on my Someone listen to the stream, I can hear it in the background. Please yeah. mute it. I just muted it now. Yeah. Why is there a Rice Krispies wrapping ad? Is that what's happening? It's because you're not paying ah, for, for the ad block. God, I can't remember the last time I had Rice Krispies. Both the cereal or just the Rice Krispies treat. Which, I mean, if you know someone that can make them homemade, the dessert of kings, I would say. Because that shit is nice and gooey. Matt, did you lose him too? No, I'm, I'm still talking. Nah, okay. I'm hearing him just fine. Coke Con is making me second guess whether I'm live, they can hear me. Because they got their own problems. Don't make your problems mine. Sentai Striker, thank you for the tier one. Appreciate it for 19 months. Oh, fuck me. Did it just. Oh, fuck, dark. Yeah, right, everybody's starting to come in. I think the... Um, so, so everyone that's uh, joining in now, did you guys get a Twitch notification, mobile or otherwise? Because I don't get those anymore. I think maybe it's because I opted out of them. I'm not sure. I keep forgetting to check the settings. But I don't remember doing that. That's the thing. I didn't get any messages either about it. But do you have an opt-in for messages, though? Did you, like deliberately set it up for that because i think you have to set it up for that oh man. yeah well right. just to I help you that, catch me was live yeah i could do that but then again but you know what i should do that that'll give me some monotony between scam likely and some other call of ads up spam i've been getting lately just the oh yeah the political uh messages yeah political messages can we yeah dude they, they've been all over the place I, I know that they've been a thing for a while now but this week in particular they've been every fucking hour I've been getting them and ads for bigger, sexier breasts. Mm. Well, I got them after a while. I'm, after Mines a while, are I'm perfectly about fine. Them. Thank you. Well, how about bigger, uglier breasts? They well, seen I mean, all right. Breasts. So, all right, like uh, before we get started with Team Dark, well, like, we, we, need to, we need to talk. What constitutes an ugly breast? Because I've I've never heard of the term. Think of it. Think of a boldy orange in a tube sock. There you go. Okay. No, but you see, if, <laughs> if it was a tube sock, it would cover the breast, though. Like, oh, no, you they can drop. see the sack. No, no, don't get me wrong. You can, you, you can still identify the definition of the breast, but if it's ugly or not, I guess. Hmm. Oh, it's hideous. Oh. It's like much, like, much like a soldier <laughs> at war after thoughtless years of after thoughtless years of service to the community as a whole, it just die out, man. It's sad. <laughs> Sandbag. Someone said in the chat too um veiny. Too which I've never heard I've never heard that word used to describe a breast. That's normally another part of the human anatomy well, I hear. Uh, but I know what he's talking about at the I, same time. Yeah, I know because there are times um I don't know, you might see the occasional uh porn star that went a little overboard in the top. They stretched the hell out of their skin. And you see everything, unfortunately. <laughs> Is that you, Aorta? See, but to me, that, I don't. I don't think it's ugly. It's just more disturbing. Anyway, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> Sentai Striker, the dog of Maze, Taylor, Shadow, Maze, Taylor. and Omega. Switch, Santiago. Thank you very much for your contributions. Anyway, we're starting Team Dark tonight, folks, and uh, this is my new streaming schedule. In case uh, you missed the tweet from uh, yesterday or the day before, I'm I'm, I'm streaming Thursday, uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays now, and they're all three-hour sessions. Because I am uh, having Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Mondays for myself and for my main channel. There might be a little bleed over sometimes, but you know that's more of a me problem, not you. So 
that's what's happening now. And uh, just as a heads up, because I, I still haven't made an announcement panel for this yet, but the 2020 Socking, Sonic Hacking, I'll say Socking Hacking Contest. <laughs> Sonic Hacking, I think it was a tube sock that was creeping up in my mind. Uh, the Sonic Hacking Contest 2020 Showcase will be beginning next Monday through Friday, uh, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. That is currently my time. I had to talk with Donnie about the schedule change because there are a couple things I have to be doing for the remainder of the week that I can't be there uh, too late in the night. So uh, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. are going to be my scheduled times for the uh, 2020 Showcase. I hope you guys look forward to that because I always love demonstrating the Sonic Hacking Contest entries with you guys. It's always one of, one of my favorite parts of the year, really, is uh, that... A week long festivity. So, thank you very much for tuning in. And without further ado, first off, Iron Jimmy, thank you for the sub bomb. To like, was that like five or six? It was like, that was like six. It's five. It's five. Thank you very much. And thank you for the bits as well. Just S rank standard mode in RE3 remake. Fuck the drain. Uh, dip. Oh, the power plant section. Is that what that is? That was, yeah, that was. That's a fun segment. I wish the curing didn't have to be done with a green herb, but what are you going to do? And a happy early birthday to Mega Master 1021. Will tell us to not be your friend? I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have another chat versus Sonic Media yet. I was given all the entries, though, ahead of time, but I have not looked at any of them yet. I did get that week off for the debate, though. Or debate my ass, I guess we're going to call it like that. <laughs> the the, the circus show. <laughs> You're going to debate your ass? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I know my picks ain't going to make the top 10 anyway, because it's like all my shit's more like it fits, but fits within the game proper, and it wouldn't exactly go well alone as a spiritual punishment aside, but I'm looking forward to that just for the hell of it. Hold on. What's this? Uh, I'm loath to ask. You should never be. Uh, but, John, are you going to show off the first person point of view Easter egg where Rouge winks at you? I did not know that was a thing. We could test that out today. Sure. Make that the first thing we do when we begin uh, Seaside Hill. Uh, John, why is Final Fantasy VIII so draining? That depends on how you're approaching the game. Are you drawing from every little and single creature of the Earth God? I tell you, you should probably stop doing that. Or you're playing cards. Or, you're playing or cards, are you yeah. drawing? Or are you drawing from them late game because hey, it's actually a lot faster to sit there and draw 100 meteors from a dragon than it is to obtain six copies of a card for one dragon for five meteors. <laughs> um, yeah, what he said. <laughs> drawing ends up being the thing you do late game. It's just so much more convenient. You shouldn't get their levels up. Yeah, you should. All right. So, as I said before, uh, the initial playthroughs of every story is not so much. I mean, if I can get an A rank, I can get an A rank. I'm not really prioritizing that. That's more about going to be for cleanup. So, expect a lot of sloppy play, a lot of deaths. Because at the end of the day, I don't and like a lot Sonic of Heroes. Crash talk. I don't like Sonic Heroes as much as Adventure One and Two, even though it's it's, a, it's an okay game. I just don't like it as much as the other two. So. Uh, let's see off this. Let's draw this Easter egg. Let me go to first person mode. How do I go to first person mode? I just did it earlier. No, no, no. That's formation switch. Uh, wait, how do I? Uh... Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm staring at Rouge. And I guess after a while, she'll just wink at you. If you stare at her, like, oh, will she know that you're looking at her, basically? Is this kind of like a Meryl situation in Metal Gear Solid? Where she'll start blushing the longer you stare at her? And then you dope punch her, and she slaps the fucking shit out of you. Like, that thing really sends her. But it sends Snake flying. Also, I just noticed the the color of her eye. Like, her eyeball is the same shade of her, as her fur. So it looks like her eyes just blend in with her head. <laughs> That's actually kind of freaky. How long does this take? Do we know? <laughs> 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Oh, okay, we got time. We got extra long media sessions just for dedicated uh, watching Rouge wink at us. This and this. Look, everybody, my winky was a key. Wait, what? Okay, no, that was just a regular idle animation. And this obnoxiously awful spy cat suit that she's wearing. I don't like this outfit at all. Like, just give me the SA2 it's outfit, the or give me, it's or give me the, the SA. Oh, give me the, you know her Sonic Riders outfit was actually not bad at all. It's the wristband, I think it is. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you know, cause they, they. The I mean, the purple cat suit alone is is sufficient enough. It's just that when you add the wristbands and the knee bands into it, it looks like she's going. To the, it looks like she just. She started. She was at the gym. Then she tried to change, and then she found Shadow. And went fuck. I got to do this now. Yeah. 
I want the story of like mid forties Rouge trying to fit into the cat suit after so many years out of uh, <laughs> uh, out of work. She doesn't even try. You know what she becomes. I don't know how well this goes in your family reunions, but yeah. in every Italian family reunion, there's that one aunt that gets like a bottle of wine, sits on a sofa, and drinks herself and drinks herself drunk while making bitchy comments at everybody else's happy marriage. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rouge. I'm gonna she's show off her fresh boob job. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna try and center her a little more. Maybe I need. To, maybe she needs to be looking directly at me. Maybe yeah, because now her now her. Her, she just took. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. You have to be centered on the camera exactly. Yeah, she just winked at me. Oh, there it goes. Ah, really weird. Okay. Well, it's kind of a. It's kind of an extreme May December romance there, Rouge. You're 18 and I'm 50. So uh, let's continue on. I just drawed 100 life in Laguna's Dream. Now, Squaw, a lot of health. How the hell does that work? Life and restorative magic always gives you high benefits to your HP as well as your vitality and spirit. I think you're. Actually, no, There's like we, a, we in the so tutorial. In the tutorial thing is um, they'll tell you which magic stats power up which uh, properties. Uh, no, Rouge, do... Rouge is eighteen, not seventeen. Now we 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 got into the topic of ages before. I think in like session one or two before the comics. Uh, Tangent. I think I believe Rouge is eighteen, not seventeen. She's eighteen. Well, the Sonic Heroes manual does detail everyone's age. I don't remember how old she is in that. Do we have like a PDF of that? Uh, I think I have the real thing of it downstairs. I mean, I have a manual too. I just don't feel like getting it. Elena! <laughs> <laughs> I can probably find a PDF. If I go down three flights of stairs, you don't have to. Hey, mate, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go to the power way. Why not? I thought I just saw a hermit crab. And I was like, oh, Christ, not again. Alright. <laughs> oh, anyway, I do appreciate all the, the resubs that's going on right now. I'll take some time to thank some uh thank some of you guys uh, as I'm between stages. Cause I literally just spent three minutes waiting for a fictional bat to wink at me. Somebody says manual seven the, a, lot, a couple of people who got the manual say seventeen. Seventeen. Yep, 17. Oh, okay, so according to Hero she's seventeen. Alright. I just wanted to every other other games that list ages for whatever reason. Uh, say 18. Maybe for Sonic Heroes. No, not Sonic Heroes. Uh, Sonic 06, maybe. Let's say 18. 15. 15. Oh. <laughs> How's it going, Jason? Uh, Got a story to tell? Honestly, just, I, just took, I just took his uh, meeting for like any other working man who's like, oh, thank God the, fi the, the 5 o'clock punch out fell. <laughs> <laughs> do you use well, I mean, a. It's, do you use a cool. it's been so long since I worked at Wawa, but like, do you. um? You still punch in like a punch card? We have an app for that. They call oh, yeah, there's a, okay, there's a straight up app. Okay. Yeah, there's an yeah. app for everything. There's an app for that. Yeah, I should, there's an app for everything. <laughs> I, sh I should have known. But no, uh, just people being stupid and angry and I don't know. At the so same time in the air. So the normal. One thing about my job I love. The second you get uppity with me, bye. See ya. <laughs> Customer got belligerent, walk, technician walked I'm, off. I'm not contractually obligated to be here, you know. Man, with all due respect, your house looks like a fucking foot. I am walking out of here, <laughs> and not for nothing, if you had offered me the chance to use your bathroom, I would rather shit my pants. That's how ugly your house is. Excuse me? I mean... <laughs> I've been in some really sticky ass houses like the past, um. Your house past is a week foot! <laughs> Yeah, you're not fucking fucked. That's the tweet. That's the tweet. That's the tweet. That's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> Your house was a fucking foot. <laughs> I hope it's, it's not just a foot. Because that'll mean the foot lady's calling in again. Oh, man. It's like everyone's mentioning foot. They don't want to talk about Ninja Turtles. Like, oh, my house is ninjas? <laughs> so, guys, why do people like Triple Triad and 8 more than the actual game? Because Triple Triad's really good and the story's underbaked. The mechanics are underly used and you don't get to play with the food all that much. It's really sick. My god, this burger bun smells like an orange. Sorry, I picked them. Wait, what? Shadow spent 50 years at Cryo, so he's more like eight, 0 0.5 to 1 years. Mm. Nah, that's boring. He's 50. Yeah, it's like Aang. He's 112. Hey, looks pretty good for his age, I gotta say. <laughs> 100 years frozen on Iceberg will do that to you. 
God dang it. Captain America is my favorite senior citizen. Wait, what? Captain America is my favorite senior citizen. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Captain it's America. Hey, everybody. It's me, your favorite president. You might not know, but I'm a senior citizen, too. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're broadcasting from a basement. Yeah, I know. You're also broadcasting from the uh, closet. <laughs> What the oh. fuck? <laughs> God, I hate when Discord does this. What? So I I finally figured out why you know my mic has been sounding weird every single time I get in. That? So Discord automatically resets it to RTX voice, which isn't what I have my uh my level set to. Well, RTX device was that thing you were telling me about. Mm -hmm. About uh how it has actually really good noise canceling. Yeah, it's well, like noise scary. Yeah. 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 Yeah, LTT to the video on that. Yeah. Of like straight up having a leaf blower in the office <laughs> and it cuts it <laughs> for whatever that happens, yeah. <laughs> and you got those office leaf blowers going out. <laughs> Fuck Jim, the office I mean, leaf blower man. I well, hate at least he's not the neighbor is cutting our grass. No, no, he's not masturbating Tom. Hey, it sounds great after, after, you know, like a PS4, like an original PS4, fucking louder than a fucking Jedi. I don't know, even sometimes. PS4 pros get loud. They do when you don't That's air them out. That's why I can't out. wait I for the PS5. We don't air them out? I just got the idea of a fucking PS4 hanging on a clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use your, yeah, use your air current spray, man. Well, I mean, it, it could be one of two things. It could be either you have really bad dust in your PS4, or there's a snake inside of it. Oh, okay. Well, I hope it's not the the latter. <laughs> yeah, that you're gonna be playing Ghost of Tsushima. Hey. Don't worry. The snake is a uh, it's a bonus. <laughs> it's not a bug. It's a feature. It's a character flaw. <laughs> snake on a console? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a feature. Can you say? And then, the and then you open it up as David Hater, and they're like, "Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that snake. Hey, if an invisible Samus amiibo is a feature. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have got duped. Ten elements don't say that. I'm going to get excited for no reason. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't gotten a level up for Omega at this point. Like, nearly six minutes into the stage, I'm still at level two with Omega. Why am I only at level two? You suck. <laughs> Uh, if you lose, uh, one second, is there any, no, there's not, alright, just checking. Uh, the team versus team battle, I think you have to, I don't think you have to be team dark, I think you just have to be fighting against team dark, if you get rid of Rouge and Shadow first, yeah, Omega will say the load off my back line, which is a legitimately great line. I just hate this mission clear screen. Why is that? Because the way that the animation is done, it reminds me of Shadow, and... I don't like being reminded of Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> hey! No. Uh, Nora is not in the call. I don't know what you're talking about. There was a female, a feminine voice in the uh, group chat for a minute. A female. Guy All right, that, 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 <laughs> that. All right. Uh, so me and my, so me and my wife, we got this thing called popping cooking, Tanoshi Hamburger. It's a fucking, it's those tiny ass hamburgers from Japan. Oh, okay. Like White Castle. <laughs> no, these yeah. are small. These are more. <laughs> dude, these, dude, these makes the White Castle burgers look like a fucking, like, water pounder. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, so, like, can, you, can you send a pic of that, actually, on the Discord when you get a chance? Yeah. 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 Well, Thank you. Hey, uh, fucking... Mick, F92, Diaz, Cosmos Lizard, uh, Bobo, Plasma Phoenix, and HJ100. Thank you very much for your resubs. Anyway, because they're on Ocean Battles. Yes, we're, we're, we're just fucking wild. No, uh, Team Dark, I don't mind as a as a game, as because it's just Team Sonic with longer levels. And that's my only gripe with Team Dark is the levels go on too long, but it's not, you're not fucking pixel hunting. You're, 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 it's not chaotic. <laughs> no, you're, you're not tearing through every scrap of level to find shit. You're just going through it. It's just long. Yeah, it's not Crash 4. No. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. 
Yeah, it could be Crash 4. You could always have to find five top secret discs. Mm. Ooh. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> that is going to be an adventure and a half adventure. Uh, that's going to be an adventure and a half. That's not Omega. That's Shadow. That's not a robot. That's, that's a robot. Room. I don't know, Rouge isn't sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the thing of it, Shadow isn't even sure himself in his own game. Oh, because it's not even on the top of well, Shadow's mind right now. You say adventure and a half, it's more like ha a quarter of an quarter adventure. Of adventure. Yeah. You're only playing sh Shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not even a quarter because like adventure usually has six characters. Shadow so Garden. it's like a six of the characters. And uh, team uh, chaos control only froze time. It didn't power characters up. But no. No. It gave you infinite oh, ammo. Gave you uh oh, okay, yeah and shadow the edge. Oh yeah. The top secret discs are Eggman porn stash. Eggman doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who hides the porn. Also, how much porn can you literally hide on a floppy? Not much. Probably not even a JPEG. On a floppy? Yeah, on a floppy. <laughs> I got nine point eight. I got nine point eight megabytes of porn in this bad boy. Like, what was a consumer model floppy disk? Like, how big was one? One point four four megabytes. That's a. I already told you about the record with cassette tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But consumer model, folks, like things that uh, this models is, that you this can is easily Eggman access. We're talking here. Yeah, no, but I'm just talking about just for comparison's sake. At, at least a zip disk is like can be up to like two hundred and fifty megabytes. I want that. Right. That actually would hold more porn than you think it would. 1.44 megabytes? That's like a high quality PNG. That 1.44, I thought it meant 250. Oh, 250 megs? You can put stuff in, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's a zip disk. I made a few good SD videos. I don't like this camera. Wait. Hold on. I'm not going against the camera. This is not a chase level in Crash Man. Although I say that, there's going to be a chase sequence on a floppy. You can reliably fit porn on a floppy. God, Omega, I don't like how fucking far he slides when he's doing combos. Neither do I. That's what made that run a living hell. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, because you were in charge of the team. Okay, Omega, you can just also ignore the dash panel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do I look like a runner? Uh. <laughs> Toho hitboxes for the win. <laughs> Floppy disk, hard drive, solid state drive, dongle. Hey, oh. <laughs> Technician's horny. Level 3 Omega, though, is really good, though. I love his fucking missile barrage. Like, it covers. I think, I think it might be the best one next to, uh. Uh. No, you know what? Uh, Vector had a really good level 3. Yeah. Yeah, it was the uh, flamethrower, wasn't it? No, 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 no the that bubbles. was the exploding bubbles. Because uh, they had a wide base. They covered a lot. That's right, you're right. Vector's uh, bubbles was a flamethrower, too. No, uh, Vector's level 2. Level 2 was flamethrower. Right. Yeah, Which is kind of wild. I didn't expect that out of a crocodile, but what do I know about Vector? Between Gamma and Omega, who do you like more? Omega. Gamma's gone. Yeah, I mean, don't remind me. Gamma has a pretty heartfelt story tie behind him, but if we're talking about just as an actual character, Omega, easily, not even close. I love Omega. Omega is actually one of the best things in a, introduced in the in a post adventure era, and also probably one of the best characters in Sonic Chronicles. So that's not saying much. Sega Omega or Archie slash IDW Omega? What the hell's that sound? Uh, my Dual Shock vibrating. Oh, playing Metal Slug at Double X, I see. <laughs> oh no, Psycho Mantis is showing you psychic tricks on the controller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? This so hammer is going like chocolate. Chucky Hamburger. You like the Chucky? I hope you realize, like, what the fuck did she just say? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Chucky. <laughs> Like, yeah, Chalky, like Chalky Milk. Chalky Milk? Yeah. Oh, Christ, what are you, 12? I don't know, that's kind of <laughs> sus. No, I didn't white. see you in the cafeteria. Like chocolate Milk and my chicken nuggies. Oh, we're white. Yeah. Chalk white. Ashley, you want to say yeah, hi? We're white. <laughs> chicken louder. nuggies, chocolate milk. There you go. Hi. Are you going to share some White Castle burgers with the rest of the class? No, I'm doing that bouncy shit. Uh oh. Womp womp. 
project. <laughs> Thank God the boulder backed up for us. <laughs> How considerate. I completely tanked your fucking score for no reason, dude. No, my score's still high, and I, my character's at level three. I just can't die here. If I die here, my score's fucked. Ouch. Looks like poop. <laughs> I did get hit, though, which means I lost the key. Unless there's another key. Is there another key okay. around here? I don't want to explore too long, because... Nah, fuck, I'm just going for Team Rose. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. C rank. Holy fuck. 7,000 7, points of C rank. Oh no, you got a crank. Crank. <laughs> I'm so glad that Metal Slug got remixes in Smash. I've got to download, Steve. You got more remixes than Final Fantasy 7, that's for sure. <laughs> Ouch. Fuck. Why do you gotta hurt us like that today? Square just sucks, honestly. <laughs> so I that why they have the humongous stick up their ass when it comes to licensing music. And it's only for that. <laughs> if it's um, near, they just don't care. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, yo, Katara, do whatever the heck you want. We don't care. That's because the world has such a loving, wholesome image of Yoko Tara. And they square knows that if we tried anything to alter that, then they, I would really turn the fandom against them. I mean, there was a tweet that said, like, he almost canceled the game because he was, like, waking up way too early. Sounds right. My personal favorite was everybody's first reaction to him when he came out with the move to Man at all. We were like, what the fuck is this guy? That is, like, three years later, he's like, you leave our move man alone, he's a, he's a tree. Annihil a charge, annihil a charge, annihil a charge. Or even better, he was getting mad that he couldn't drink as much at on the job. Near automatic T shit. Hey! That's right, I did it. You two suck. <laughs> so I keep saying that. He asked on Twitter for a, a, a zip file, a zip folder. <laughs> John, I keep saying that. I might have to hit you with a copyright claim. Mm -hmm. uh, archives will not be going up until the playthrough is finished. For that one person tagging Matt in the chat. <laughs> Why are you asking me? I have no say in this. <laughs> yeah, I'm Johnny's business manager, according to Matt. Can you ask Matt why he blocked me on Twitter? I That's the one I get the most. That's the one I get the most. Is, uh, it's, it's why did Matt block me on Twitter. It's like, I don't fucking know. It's my business. Let's just say I called you. What's up? We it's either I caught you doing something stupid or I'm taking a preemptive. Oh, fair enough. Because normally I can get a person's temperament on Twitter by looking at their string of tweets when I find them saying something really stupid. And I was like, eh, let me confirm. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Kadeki Namaguma. Oh my god. No problem. Guys, it's just a Charlie Chaplin reference in 2020. Yeah, I know, like, that was, I mean, like, even I know, once together. I learned what it was, it was like, okay, we're still colossally misfiring on this. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not a good joke. <laughs> Put both tweets together, please. Yes. As a, a little start. By the... <laughs> That's like a Charlie Chaplin reference. That's nice. You're still creepy. It just, it, sorry, man, it just didn't land. Especially after you so know his Sonic actions <laughs> with his follows. It just in a land, yeah, Sonic's later history. <laughs> oh yeah, did you guys see the Balan Wonderworld uh, opening CG today? I have not. No. It's too sped up for its own good. It's too fast, really. Yeah. Was it so I just mean, like it, it's it like, like, it's like it's would you like it? Would you like it's a hyperactive imagination sort of shit? Maybe they went too hard on that. No, so imagine trying to go with something zany like the mask or um, never had a friend like me. Okay, but it sped up a hundred percent. Oh, <laughs> so you can't, you know, enjoy the detailed animation or anything. You never had a friend like me. The zaniness on drugs. Uh, the first thing that came to my head was you never had a friend like me. Uh, Nightcore edition. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's always a Nightcore version on Spotify. I mean, Disney released like three Eurobeat CDs. Yeah. Hey, uh, I2I is back on Spotify, by the way. The actual song. What's Disney I2I? Disney took it down for several months for whatever reason. Uh, that sounds pretty funky. I mean, it's one of the best songs from the Goofy movie, honestly. And the only reason why to watch it. <laughs> No, I watched a Goofy movie to watch Max go fucking berserk when um his father goes back to college. Oh, everybody! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good movie. It really is. They're both really good. Chaos control. Mm, My favorite part is when they give the uh the slash watch a fucking Walkman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's an extremely goofy movie. Okay, that was the sequel. The first one was when they were going on the family trip. Okay, my bad. Still, that was the funny part. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, the the first movie had not Michael Prince Jackson. <laughs> wait, wait, which one is he? <laughs> He's both. He's both. Okay. The Michael, formerly known as Prince. <laughs> He's got the voice of Prince, but the look of Michael Jackson. <laughs> and his dick and a horse. No, not those prints. <laughs> That's like fucking watch me. <laughs> I'm really bad. I can't use any of my buttons right now. Yeah, you know what? Um, I'm actually I was a little surprised, Ben, because when they're talking about Nightcore, I thought you were gonna play Nightcore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I switched back to my PC because I got to start doing some prep stuff and I got an RMA to graphics card on my Mac and it turns out my audio board doesn't want to input into Windows for some reason. Uh, I had an time, issue I had not played Doom Eternal. Hey, so go go ahead, go ahead, Matt. No, I was talking about regarding my laptop issue yesterday. I had a fucking nightmare and a half trying to get through that shit. And this is honestly still like the best I could fucking do. I'm not even talking through the microphone through my speakers on my laptop. Yeah, I, got, I still gotta, I gotta buy a headset come Friday. Yeah, thankfully my board is working through my PC laptop, so like it's not a Windows thing per se. Just something about my desktop is just like, I don't know. Was it an update? <laughs> I yeah, don't know. It, it hasn't hooked up to this computer since like January, so I'm not sure what happened between then and now. But my laptop's on the same version of Windows, and it's working fine on there. So I gotta see what I can do to fix that. Hopefully I don't have to reinstall Windows, but... I don't think I'm take a full Windows install. Yeah, I never had a update fuck me so hard that I needed a full re... Like, well, like, I've done system restores before, but I never had to just reinstall the whole fucking thing. Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I got some calls for help out in the in the broadcasting community to see, like, hey, has this happened to anyone else? What can I do? I've only that, seen it a couple times. And then they're probably like, I'll plug the router, plug it back in. Yeah, I've tried that version of that. It's actually funny. When I first installed Windows 10 back in, like, you know, back when the Windows 10 was brand new, I guess it was 2015, I was like, all right, the Mac Pro is turning off. I'm trying Windows 10 for two weeks to see how it is. The second day, the taskbar permanently disappeared, and I had to reinstall Windows 10. Ouch. Jesus. I don't know how that happened. It was just like, I, there was nothing installed. Just the taskbar would not appear. I couldn't get command prompt or anything to come up. I was like... Wow, you're really winning me back, Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> what is my experience with the Xeno games? Nada. A bit on this burger situation. Uh, we tried making the patty. It looks like a little lump of shit. What? I posted a photo in the chat. I know I'm level three and I could just homing attack into the pole to get a similar effect, but I'm not risking that. Yeah, you'll just end up careening off the pit and yeah. die. Or I... Or the homing like, attack, nah, or the hit, was hit detection just decides not to give a flying fuck. What's that? a -Rex? Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> so man, hypothetical world where HDB had made it to 13. Who would have played 13? Me or Johnny? Johnny. 13? Yeah, I would have played 13 too. Like, yeah, the story writing in 13 too is just as fucking awful, but the rest of the gameplay is nothing I can tolerate. Yeah, because that's a, that, that, that that kind of playthrough would be interesting on the premise of it, one person's playing the game, but it's not the person that absolutely hates it. 
Right, I'm just going to sit there. I'm just going to be, like, making, like, little snide comments here and there. And then I'm going to watch it. Johnny is like, you know what? This ain't so bad, Matt. Fuck you. You were wrong, Matt. <laughs> you piece of shit. And then by, cha and then bad and then by chapter 12, Johnny's like, Matt, I'm starting to understand it. And then by chapter 13, you're like, oh, God, Matt, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm the guy that likes the Sonic stuff in 06, so. <laughs> I should be questioning. And I'm the guy who likes 06. Say what? <laughs> Johnny, they were asking who would handle the seven remake, and I said again, that'd be you. Yeah, um, well, I don't even know if it's, gonna be, it's ever going to get to that point, so. Yeah. I'm just going to stay in flying formation at this point, because I don't want to risk that hey. fuckery again. Me and you Megan could always say that SGB will get to the seven remake when seven remake comes out with version 1.1. 1. 1. Yeah, because oh, well, it's still cool. on its base version, right? You know, the funny yeah. thing is, it's on its base version, but barring the texture swaps and, like, maybe one little soft lock, I had no issues with the game. Yeah, yeah, like, I never had the game out, like, crash or, like, do something really fucky, like, go out of bounds. So, like, it, you guys didn't. Oh, oh, then I guess I count my blessings then, but, I, you know, I, I can only go off my experiences, and my experiences were really right. solid, besides, like, the overall occasional overall low res. Right. Yeah, like, because the occasional low res door, and I love I love low poly door. Don't, don't fucking shit on low text door. And not for nothing, I, and there's a kind of big, like, this huge feeling that with the PS5 coming out, I think one of the few things Square Enix is going to do after 16 is they're going to port over the first part of the uh, 7 Remake along with the next part. Oh, I think 7 Remake on the PS5 will happen before 16 comes out. 16 7 out. Remake Remastered. Yeah, because it's, remake it's, two different, it's, two yeah. Different, it's two different teams, so I don't see why they can't, like, diverge resources from both products at the same time. So if, it, if it's not before, at least around the same time. Work. Depends about well, what will they call it? <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking about Seven Remake, like a port for the PS5. Yeah, but what I I'm know, but say, what will they call it? <laughs> oh, well, they'll just call it Seven Remake. Yeah. The only Remake thing is, how, it depends about how hard they're going to crack the whip on the more though. Like they literally are working that man ragged to hell. I mean, from what, I got bad for him. from what I've been hearing is that uh, PlayStation Four games are can get patches for PS5. From what I've been hearing, because I know Ghost of Tsushima is getting a 60 FPS one. I, I don't even know why the hell I'm caring about the I'm not getting any right. Well, just in general, the PS5 has a PS4 emulator. It's just that they can patch some things for the the game itself to make it run a little bit better. But I think that the way that that'll work is that it should benefit both PS4 and PS5, honestly. Final Fantasy VII Revengeance. Revengeance? I like it. Uh, Remakes. Damn, what are you doing? Final Re Fantasy VII Remake 4K <laughs> Edition. <laughs> HD. <laughs> what a rip Ultra. off of my money, I'll take seven. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake International, only released in America. <laughs> International Zodiac Age. <laughs> the, what? The Zodiac Job Edition, yeah, that was like, or in other words, hey, here's a partially fun version of 12. Before, <laughs> before... <laughs> Before recently, before we got the Zodiac Age, that I would still maintain as the de facto way to play Final Fantasy XII. What the fuck what happened was that? there? <laughs> what was that? What on earth did we just witness? That was Sonic Heroes in a nutshell. To quote Elliot, the only people who don't like Sonic Heroes <laughs> have never actually played it before. Oh boy. <laughs> the dream is dead. Let's go. The only people who don't like heroes haven't beaten it. Let's try a shadow. There you go. That's what's supposed to happen. Even then, that looked really fucking suspect. <laughs> Was it in reactor with the body? I swear, man, I was just in the vending machine. What the fuck happened? <laughs> Why were you Where'd hitting you it? Where I wish there should be a bottle of vodka. Which version of the game are you playing, I'm playing again? Xbox version. You should have just booted up the PC version. No. Should have been. Should have been GameCube. No, don't give them a vehicle. <laughs> that's PC the, that's how the excuses the start. Mod. That's how the excuses start.
Well, would you play 06 on a 360 or would you play the PC port? Well, why'd you leave out the 360? I said, would you play it on the 360 or the PC port? Oh, well, wait. But what? For 06. Would I play on the PS3 or the PC version? Are no, you, 360 are you, or PC. Oh, okay. The Hold fan on. made I, port. No, I heard, uh, look, that's not even, well, obviously the fixed version. Would you play 06 on a boat? Would you play 06 on a goat? <laughs> And green eggs and half baked games. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. I feel bad for like the staff who had to handle porting Sonic Go Six to the Wii. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, I can't. <laughs> uh, can we just make another game? <laughs> All right, but we're giving you like two dollars for the music budget. Ah, uh, fine. Wait, what's going on? What are we talking about? Can we just make another game? You got five months. What? <laughs> Konami approach. Ooh, that's a way you can make Sonic 06 worse. Modify it to use um, Sonic and the Secret Rings controls. How dare you? <laughs> Man, I just want to kill turtles. So did I, Steph. Uh, I was going to say so did Shredder, but... Because there's, there's multiple turtles, there's only one Genbu. Or, or is there? I don't know. Does Genbu fuck? Genbu is, Genbu is a turtle, yeah. Yeah, but does Genbu fuck? That's, not the, that's, that's what I was asking. Uh, I think there's only wait, one which, Genbu. Which Genbu? From five. You mean Guido? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm used to the uh, oh, Chinese yeah. mythology, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, there's only one. Okay, but does Genbu fuck? <laughs> Probably does. You know, that turtle's getting some puss. Maybe. Oh yeah, <laughs> chat, what did you think about um, Korean Goku last season? Did you say Korean Goku? Yes, Korean Goku. Korean Goku? Huh. What are you talking about? Uh, there was a show last season called... Um, God of High School. Okay. And the character is little, literally just Goku, but Korean. Same like character, in all but a, like, an, and like an appearance. Uh, somewhat appearance and character quirk. Uh, I don't know because Goku's pretty generic. Like all uh, things considered, well, for a typical shonen hero. Who are you? I am Sun Um Goku. Yeah. <laughs> and he's literally the reincarnate. Well, spoiler alert. But they kind of spoil it in like the first few episodes too. Hmm. He's the reincarnation of Sun Wukong. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, in that case, yeah. Then they, then he has uh, similar ties in that regard. But you know, Goku is a ar the archetype for the typical shonen hero. So and whenever when someone someone tells me he's like it's Goku like, I was like, do you mean just like standard shonen stuff? Because that's usually what. No, he he's the kind of guy who would let his child get beat to death by Cell. Okay, so typical <laughs> shonen archetype. <laughs> Fuck my friends, I want to play a card game. Or, well, I mean, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let the bad guy get the MacGuffin. <laughs> I like Kaiba. I know, because I know that ain't Jada. Jada's basically, hey guys, I found, I found myself talking to an evil card spirit while playing card games near the electric power plant. Get your game on! <laughs> In <Indeed. laughs> See it. Oh, that's that dumb. dumb. Fuck it, I'm just gonna... No, no, no. I know, who plays card games near a power plant? <laughs> I mean, what's the prize? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, no, the, the show was so rushed that they completely forgot to mention the, um... What, the main conflict. What, GX? No, I think the, the show he was my between earlier. Oh, alright. Yeah. I was gonna say, I know if GX sees a poor rush. Shadow, don't touch the fire... I can understand what you're saying. It's way four. better. Wait, what? So oh, that's a season four is a different language or something. Season four is only is Japanese only. It was also rushed yeah. because the, the main say you left the gum. Oh no! Because of conflict interests. Yeah, it was actually it would actually have been a pretty good interesting season, all things considered. It was 
basically everybody's coming to the age story, like what they're gonna do after they graduate. Oh, the Sony emblem fell off of my PVM. No! Oh, how's that? How did I do that? From your oh. TV? Yeah, I just noticed the emblem was missing. Oh. Was it, so was, I the only was, one? It, was it adhesive? Did it, did it just dry up? It's possible. You know what? It might have been like that when I got it and I just knocked it out again. I'm trying to remember now. So is anyone hyped up for the Crown Tantra? Um, yeah, you might be, dude, because I swear to God I forgot all about it. The what now? Crown Tundra, the other DLC for Pokemon. Uh, I still have not played Sword and Shield, and I have no interest, honestly. That's fine. <laughs> You're not missing much. You're really not. I don't know, because I, sometimes I, I feel that... No, the game's perfectly fine if people are just being bitchy. You know? It is perfectly fine if people are being bitchy, but at the same time, you're really not missing anything. Yeah. Okay. I understand the criticism, but I got bored playing through the first uh, gym leader, and I stopped playing. I didn't get bored. No, to this day, X and Y is the only Pokemon series game that bored. Like, I I, I don't have a grand scheming, scheming metric, like a professional metric for what constitutes this boring or not, but... If I'm playing a game and I fall asleep, yep, you're boring. <laughs> yeah, X and Y was pretty underwhelming to me because I've only played a beat in that game once. Fantastic looking world, nothing to fucking do. So my experience with Pokemon was more so um, basically Leaf Green, Red, Sapphire, Emerald, then um, basically Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, of course. Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Then I went to um, the or uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And then you went to Disney Black World. Two, <laughs> Sun, <laughs> Shuffle, um, Sun and Moon, and um, of course Sword and Shield. So I'm like, okay, the only thing I'm missing here is X and Y. And I go back to play X and Y this year uh, since my girlfriend had an extra copy of Y. And I fell asleep during the character creation process. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Wait, are you sure that's just I, because okay, you didn't I get made... enough sleep? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, even I made a pass back. Yeah. <laughs> I was sitting on the couch. I know, but it's like, that's not the game's fault. I would just say that's more like, no, you should have you gotten some sleep before playing the game. Come on. <laughs> I have been wanting to redo a Gen 5 I, recently. I've just been And even the next day, I still haven't gotten to the first gym before putting down the game again. <laughs> You might not. You might just not be in the mood to play a Pokemon game at that at that moment. Because I I have a similar thing where even if I have like the heart of attention, my best of attention, if I'm not in the mood to play it, I'm not playing it. I could at least get through Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield. Bomb inside the game. What's that bomb? No, I heard a bouncy sound effect for a second. I think I might have been a, a bomb dropping one of their robots. No, that was one of your um. Oh uh, well. Yeah, when you throw your rings, they bounce, but that was earlier, not now. Omega? What the? What? what? Where did you go? <laughs> Why did oh. you take me with you? <laughs> you did Why? say chaos control. <laughs> Why must you go where I can't follow? Going to Coolsville, population Omega. <laughs> Sorry, Shadow, you are a dork. <laughs> I'm not talking any dork, I'm talking uber dork. Humongous fucking dork. Oh my god, fuck, this section's so hard. Joining oh, Clark, you can jump in. Wait, what, uh, like what about Sun and Moon, up? I was able to beat through just kind of sheer determination to beat it under level. Sword and I Shield, I was only able to beat the. I have fun with Sun and Moon. Oh, fuck. I, love, I, I just really enjoy Sun and Moon, even though I don't think it really innovated as much as people want to say it did. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, I only it. enjoyed oh, playing it at, like, the bare minimum level <laughs> to beat most matches. Johnny, Clark wants to know if you can join the stream. Uh, cool. sure. Was it, are, we, are we already at max limit, uh, user limit? Is that what it is? It's 10. You oh, it's, oh yeah, I said it's it 10 from Among Us. Yeah, I forgot to set it back. Yeah, I should probably do that, yeah. too. Uh, yeah, Clark can uh, hop in. I and, Clark for John, asking. you wouldn't have gotten burned from the lava if you made sure to steal the alien's hub reward. Oh, I... Wait, is that a shadow reference? Because that wasn't really lava. That was yes. more like radioactive sludge. Peace.
of yeah, over sixty-six thousand points. That's a C. Oh, a B. No, it's a B. Okay, the point portals in, in the dark segment. I, I don't know any of the. Uh, I don't know any of the point thresholds for heroes at all. And if you're like me, you don't care about it either. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't either. Yeah. What's up, SEO? And you are. Just what do you think you're doing here? Who's this boy? Uh, none of your goddamn business. All right, the burgers are done. Did you the get burgers? Did you send a picture of that on Discord? I want to see those. Oh yeah, yeah there they are. Oh my god. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm avoiding the other one. Yeah, yeah. All right, then let's do it. it looks like a mini pretty mini patties. <laughs> pretty patties rule. Yeah, that, that's the finishing, and that's a switch game for scale. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy fuck. What it looks happened? like those. That's so tiny. It looks like those little gummy Krabby Patties. Uh, hold on. Let me. Can you put that on the screen? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put that on the screen. What the fuck are those? One second. Hey, for the record. Uh... Ah. Oh, that is not a burger. Why is it rotated? One second. Suffering from success. <laughs> that is not a burger. That is not a fucking burger. That is a Chops Happy Meal. Never mind. No, Happy Meals gave more food. No, that's the that's the pip the uh, pipsqueak meal from um the Krusty Krab. So I have an I have another box but to make another one. I kind of want to buy a. <laughs> I kind of want to go to my local Burger King and just buy a fucking, like, Whopper. I just put it next to it. <laughs> oh, shit, that was funny. <laughs> gummy hamburgers, holy fuck. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. No time to waste. Uh, I said that, like, two minutes ago. Let, me, let me catch up on subs here. Uh, Virtual Cosmo, Star Vagrant, uh, Luigi's Mansion 9000. Uh, that's, a, that's a really large number. I didn't know there were so many sequels. Uh, Nick Jr., Everboy, and Applenaut. Thank you very much for the tier ones. Yeah, it's what they serve at Winnie Hudge Juniors, basically. So the flavors are cola, pineapple, chocolate, orange, strawberry, and banana flavors. What's flavored? The patty? Uh, the patty tastes like a pineapple. The cheese tastes like banana. That is a tasty burger. <laughs> Big kahuna burger. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm hungry, too, because I haven't eaten anything yet today. <laughs> I actually just had dinner before coming I actually, I, I got up like 20 minutes before we had to do that uh, promo for Ben FM. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, that's, oh Christ. I meant to jump on that as Shadow. Hold on, let me get rid of the bunny here. No witnesses. Yeah, well, I'm eating a can of dirty Pringles. Dirty Pringles? Oh, that's what they call them before. <laughs> I'm gonna call them that Let's dirty, put though. everything on one button, guys, for the third time. Come on. Come on, that'll be great. Come on. Where are you guys going? Come back here. Come here, Come here Wait, you know who complains about this? Bitches. Bitches complain about it. Are you a bitch? Oh, <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Welcome to Casino Park. No, oh, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Never mind. So, the whole one button thing isn't my issue with Modern Sonic. It's my fine. issue with Modern Sonic <laughs> is the fact that Dimps basically created the boost formula and they messed it up on their first 3D outing. <laughs> <laughs> Because Dimps had it perfectly fine in Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure. But then Sonic Unleashed comes out in Waggle. Waggle. <laughs> waggle. Uh, update, I tasted the burger. Wait, but who's dying? Are you dying? Uh, <laughs> are you? Uh, oh, that, that was the poison now. burger. <laughs> Try again. I do, not recommend, I do not recommend it. It tastes like fucking sugar. It tastes like... Uh, <laughs> what is what, it just what, what flavor was that gummy what gummy bro <laughs> <laughs> it was a combining a mixture of pineapple orange and strawberry in a little tiny it's ass burger. Fruit burger it's not even a burger that's a that's a fruit bowl it's made out of powder <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's from Flavor space. Fonda. It's a fruit ball from space. <laughs> fruit ball. Uh. It's literally just flavored fondant. <laughs> Why is my webcam on? Hmm. Mr. FBI is watching. Yeah. They oh, never turned me. it off after last night's show. Oh, I'm still oh no, test. it's the Popo. What you do? Oh my god, I have to do all this again to get A ranks. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, hey how's it going, Clark? Clark? How's it, how's everything hey. going? You're good. How are you doing, John? Doing pretty well. Losing my mind over shit that's out of my control. Oh, you're oh. playing Sonic Heroes? Yes. The, the tiny oh, show. Did you, hold on. did you know that before heading into the stream, or did you just guess? Like, oh. <laughs> complaining about things that are out of control. Are you perchance playing Sonic Heroes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just, uh, just oh. awkwardness. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, is this more Super Mario 3D World? Uh, yeah, it's a Super Mario. Oh, uh, yeah. Penis. Why? Do you <laughs> These uh these these sequiturs are getting <laughs> more and more nonsensical. That, that hamburger does look delicious though. It's not. It's, it's not. not. No, it's not. Oh, okay, it's it almost not? killed Fonz. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, Fonz. I tried the soda and it has a horrible aftertaste. Oh, wait, hold on. Is it accurate to say that Team Dark is the only team that can, all three can ga uh, gamble at the same time because they're actually old enough? Uh, no, Omega's underage. He's only like a year old. Yeah. Robots don't have age. Well, and also, uh, Bruce. No, but they have an expiration date. Oh, that's right, because, uh, yeah, what, what is the, uh, well, no, wait, what's the gambling age in America? 21. 21. 21. Okay, same as uh, 21 age. Right. 21. And the smoking age now, too. Uh, here in Vegas, you just have to look like you're Oh, really? 21. They changed the, the up the smoking age to 21? At least in Pennsylvania, yeah. That's what all the, um... For most states, they changed it to 21. No, yeah, in California, it's also 21. Really? Cool. That's why right. so many, yeah. like, mini-marts have, like, big signs saying, you have to be 21 to buy tobacco now. You can still join the army at 18, though, so that's a Yeah, okay. you can go to war at 18, but you can't yeah, do it until can... 21. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously, get your, get your priorities together, you kick. Yeah, get your priorities together, you kick. This is war, you. son. Can't have you inebriated. <laughs> exactly. This pinball machine looks really cool. Though. It's not. Oh, it, it sucks. Is. Oh, is, is it like Pachinko and Mario Sunshine? No, it's just it's just a pinball it thing. But it just sucks. Uh, but it has really bad uh, collision physics. Clark, I uh, thought you played this game. No, I have played it. It's just. When was the last time you played it? I think it's <laughs> really big. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's just I haven't retained a lot of it. It's still like I don't play a lot of Sonic games in general just because it's not my play style. But this is the one I used to play You mean because you have better taste? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is definitely because I usually like playing with Big the Cat, that team with Amy and. Um, oh, Team Rose. Okay. Team Rose, yeah. You like your game to be short and done. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, it, it, it feels more like a platformer with them, and it's not as skill based. Yeah, naturally. Hey, God forbid you need skill for a video game. So I'm saying <laughs> Ashley likes the burger. I don't. I don't play Team Dark that much, actually, so... Oh, no one does. I had to. <laughs> I, I don't think the pinball machine's in the Team Amy one. No, it is. It's yeah, just, it is. There's it's not that you don't have to deal with it a lot. Yeah, you don't have to deal with it uh, a lot. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I also oh. like the Alligator Team. Oh, um, you're a minority. <laughs> oh, okay. you're really <laughs> a minority. <laughs> yeah. I like that one, too. It, it, you know, some levels yeah. are horrible in it, but, like, overall... I have enough fun with it. And nobody like I, nobody likes a liar. Well, I also wanted to say I really like the fishing mechanics in the first adventure game. Don't, don't, just, <laughs> just, 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 just. And Clark I also take back what I said about taste. Also, yeah, Team yeah. Cat is now Team Alligator now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Name, name the name, name the team that are composed of guys in the thirty two X. You said alligator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and let me guess, Clark, your favorite level on Sonic 1 is Labyrinth, Sonic 2, you love Metropolis, Sonic 3, you like Marble Garden. I like. I hey, like Marble Garden's great. I like Marble I hate, Garden. It's boring. No, Marble Zone's boring, but not Marble Garden. I like Marble Garden. So, like... Yeah, seriously, fuck it. <laughs> well, I like Labyrinth Zone, so... 
Oh, well, am I the only one where the fishing mechanics in Adventure One really grew on me, or do you guys just hate that? I, I just, no, we hate that too. This is the thing: oh, is like when it. I revisit Adventure One for uh -huh. any reason, I'm just playing Sonic stuff. So, oh, okay. It's not that I. I mean, I don't like the fishing, but I don't actively despise it. Mm-hmm. It's one of those things that really doesn't belong in the Sonic game. Yeah, it just doesn't belong in the game. Has anyone tried like doing the big uh, story mode with the Sega with the Sega fishing rod controller? Yeah, that actually was the entire point of Big's entire gameplay. I never wanted to market that off. Yeah, I never played. I have always played that emulated, but um, yeah. Uh, you're talking about adventure with the. Uh, with the, with the second Dreamcast fishing controller, yeah. I had no idea they had a fishing controller for the Dreamcast. Was it for that? Or was it, it no, it wasn't. That, no, no, that's a misconception that I've, I've also fallen into. It, it wasn't for Big, no. It was for Sega Bass Fishing. What are you talking about? It was for freaking Soul Calibur. Yeah, the Soul Calibur fishing yeah, or, game, but Nightmare. We're typing John, with them. Stupid. Flight formation, please. They have no, shields, oh, Jason. God. They have shields! No, for real, you can use the Sega. Uh, uh, Fishing sword on uh, Soul Calibur, and it actually like works, huh. like swinging your sword and shit like that. I imagine that would be the case with Raphael. He's the one that goes to tune with the fencing mechanics. Where does uh, Heroes rank for you guys in terms of games of Sonic? Is it up there, or do you guys prefer other games? It, it's in the ballpark. Is that I own this game, and I don't know how to feel about it. Flight okay. formation. Flight <laughs> formation. Hey, look at that! You're Flight building up meter. Flight formation. Hey, look at that! You haven't died, and you're full building up meter. Flight formation. So you riveting. didn't die, did you? You can just have not the characters <laughs> fucking slide to Tijuana every time I hit the damn attack button. I don't think he likes the runner much, but that's just me. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. It just worked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Bruce. <laughs> Holy shit. So to answer Clark's question. I didn't remember what his question was. Sonic Heroes is actually the only 3D game I played growing up. So like there's a nostalgia factor to it. Which I just simply do not have for Adventure One and Two. Right, I get that. Yeah. Adventure oh. One, I, you know, Adventure One and Two, as Johnny well remembers, I played for the first time during the first stream way back in the day. Yeah. And I don't remember I, that. Yeah. I don't remember much of that playthrough though. So to be fair, I, I remember the 06 like, one because you were on Crisis City for so long. Yeah. Uh, DNF. Oh, and I think I spent like three hours saying Lost in the Hub World in the Adventure One. I love Hub World. Uh, it's not it's, it's it's not a great Hub World because it does it, it's like a giant mall. Um, because there's like the, the, the train station and there's like a lot of things that are not as like obvious as like let's say Delfino Plaza and the Red Light Hub. District. Yeah, but it does. Um, it still has kind of that collectathon kind of quality to it that I like. If that makes sense, like it it doesn't feel like. Uh, I know it's probably a negative. It doesn't feel like a regular Sonic game. It feels more like a New Year 64 kind of hybrid. Hey, hey, John. Hmm. Since since you keep up with his life, and he's not allowed to live one, where's Nathan? Oh, I don't know. Hey, if you're just tuning into this, if you're a newbie, first off, thank you. I appreciate it. Also, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, not Nathan. <laughs> So, chat, if you if you want to know where Nathan is, ask him yourself on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> and if he blocks you, that's not a problem. Press X to Nathan. Nathan! <laughs> so, just like, so Matt, why did Nathan block me on Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, everyone, come back what you Mars. should do is send Nathan the picture of Guy Fieri's chicken restaurant. <laughs> oh my god. I've actually been there. I think that's the one in Disney Springs, right? That's the yeah, one that's what we all went, yeah. we went to. One of those, me, you, yeah. him, and uh, that was really Anthony, nice. I believe. Uh, Anthony, yeah. Was well, it closed down? Not well, no, we went last year before the whole pandemic. Okay. 
Have you gone to? Well, I want to go to the um, the restaurant that Johnny has. The uh, lead singer, lead singer, Crush Forty. He has a <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. He bought. Oh, that, that's not a joke. Yeah, I thought it was yeah, a. I think wait. it's like a pizza place. Oh my god! He actually what? has a restaurant. Oh, well, hold on. Can we look this up what? now? Can someone like verify that, please? Because I, I need to know more about this. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably like one of those uh, Chuck E. Cheese joints where they just play a Sonic track repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, because I I want to I want to know about that just from the names of the like the meals, all the Sonic puns and Crush Forty puns. I don't know. They only do that for like the really bad Crush Forty songs, honestly, like Sonic oh. Youth. Well, I guess the only uh, drink you can get is uh, Orange Crush. Yeah. <laughs> Orange Crush 40. Orange Crush 40, yeah. Actually, isn't there a great version of that, too, I think? Well, the, the, wait, the, there's a great version of Orange Crush? <laughs> 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 kind of goes against the whole fucking point, doesn't it? <laughs> Chaos Control. Chaos there's, Omelets, I like that. There is a crushed strawberry, so... Yeah, but oh, that's just yeah. that's called crushed strawberry though. It's not like crushed orange strawberry. Oh, crushed grape. Okay, they do have multiple flavors. I, I know Fanta has multiple flavors. I didn't know crushed did too. Don't you want a Fanta? Fuck this dialogue is so dumb. <laughs> so I'm just catching up in the chat. Is there an IHOP that's like kind of branded like Sonic? I mean, the yeah, it's called Tails. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. There's goth IHOP. It doesn't look God. like we'll be able to move on. No problem. Let's get moving. Pretty <laughs> 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 dialogue. God. Don't you love dialogue where they don't take their full payments <laughs> <laughs> or? <laughs> Like it would have, been, you know, to me, you could have dialogue stupid like that, but I think it'd be a little more self-aware instead of just like being obviously jank. It's like it's like we move on. Shut up, and then you just keep moving. It's no time to waste. Let's move. <laughs> oh man, I love this. The uh, the SpongeBob oh thing. With the um, Yoshi's Island music. Oh, John, I can see why you don't like pinball. <laughs> I'm just holding up. I'm just holding up. I don't want it to suck. But God, the game does not make it easy for me, man. This looks rough. This looks, this would be a great water slide. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucking three miles well. in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking awesome. I mean, that would hurt if you had actual flippers on a real water slide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, all I think is Homer getting caught in that water tube. On a second thought, that might be a bad idea. Dude, Johnny, Action Park. What? Ac wait, what about it? You remember that one fucking tube that tried to do a loop to loop and people got stuck in it? <laughs> oh, yeah, and, and the guy's nose broke because it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, like, yeah. I did not hear this, though. No. Yeah. Dude, there's a reason it's called Class Action Park. <laughs> well, the, uh, a documentary about it just came out on HBO Max. I think that's slide. Right. Yeah, the slide is like called the um, it's something. It's like the uh, the uh, the uh, the paralyzer or whatever. Oh, why would you go to a ride called the paralyzer? <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> it's something like that. Make sure you're right there. Roller coaster. What was the name of that ride? The other Oh, the broken rib. <laughs> I love the broken rib. Well, it's better than what they call the wave pool, which would be the electrocutor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember last year, I think there was actually a story out of a Universal where one of the pools, like something happened, and there was like live AC going through it at one point. I'm frankly that, surprised. That's not oh. chilling or anything. Please visit our guest shop at CBT. Yeah, it was a, quite a shocking story. <laughs> well, uh, one of the other issues with Action Park was that it. <laughs> Sold beer at several of its kiosks, uh, and, a lot of them and they weren't oh, really wow. enforcing drinking. They weren't vouching. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> Uncle, David, thank David. you for the ray party at nineteen. We're just talking about Class Action Park. <laughs> dude, 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 of course the teenagers were fucking watching it. Most of them were, were the patrons were drinking that shit wrong too. If I, if I recall, if I recall, the average of the employees are also like seventeen. So, 
Right. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why they put Kegs in the lifeguard booths. That was kind of a weird idea. <laughs> July 8th, 1980. A 19-year-old man was riding the Alpine slide when his car jumped the track and his head struck a rock, killing him. Oh my God. Well, why was this car was on the ride to begin Was with? there a Defunk Land on Action Park? I think so. Okay, because I love Defunk Land. I love Defunk Land. Defunk Land's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I went down a rabbit hole of that one, like, week, two years ago. and it's I go so through a rabbit hole every year with them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just ridiculously cool. I'm just wondering why there was a rock in the, in, 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 in the, in the parking lot. <laughs> Shout out for his, like, hour-long video on fucking Epcot recently. Uh, this thing is spinning out of control. Can I just run over it? Yeah, I can just run over it. Oh, all you have to do is hit the switch. Hey, but I can also just fly over it. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but nowadays you can't even have a gambling place like this in a kid's game, correct? Or I think it... you can. No, you can. No, you can. Okay. It's just, it... It, it, if it's like the level theme like this, yeah, but there are games like Pokemon I know had to come down with that. That's what I mean. Where you can't have that. You can't have outright gambling, but then you have gotcha games. Which well, it's not thing. that you can't. It's, it's a Peggy thing. So Peggy is like the ESRB of Europe, mm -hmm. and they take it more seriously than the ESRB does here. Oh, okay. So if you want your game to be released in Europe without modification, you got to mix it. Adhere to their standards, yeah. I guess since there's no gambling involved, it's just a casino. It's okay. Wait. Oh Wait. How did someone die from electrocution on the kayak ride? Electricity, I think. Well, I mean, there's water. <laughs> but it's a kayak ride. <laughs> Why was there exposed wires? How did someone die from electrocution? I'd imagine by electricity. <laughs> like, <just> really? <laughs> well, I, 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 the gas chamber. Uh, how did he go? Well, I think the gas had something to do with it. I think somebody just got wet. <laughs> Why was oh, there exposed wires? The kayak <laughs> ride. I, like, wait, I, didn't, I didn't see myself activating the switch. That's, that's oh man, he died in the water slide. How he died? Spontaneous combustion. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! They never was saw it coming. I oh, hate to see it. You hate to see it, but it's funny when it happens. No, yeah, half these deaths are people drowning in the tidal pool. That's hypnotic. What people dying in the time? Oh, oh no, no, <laughs> no, the, uh, no, 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 Oh, the, the transition. But <laughs> the next okay, okay. That would be really fun. Like, I'm here to see a hidden test. Get in the pool. Hi, Jim. Oh, Cam. Hello. You're talking to your cats, right? Yes. Okay. You know, Fonzie, yeah, it's yeah, sentences yeah. like that that creates the origami killer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you ah, 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 All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, can I A rank this on my first try, please? <laughs> I'm wow. not going to. I think the point threshold is really high for this one. Because for this one, you, you have to be scoring a lot of points. Well, you got 300 rings, so. You know what would be a great uh, concept for Rainbow Road is a rainbow uh, pinball machine like this. <laughs> rainbow <laughs> pavement. Oh, uh, yes, because uh, no one heard of Waluigi Pinball. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Waluigi Pinball, but. Yeah, I remember Waluigi Pinball? Good times. Good times. It's, it's great. I just wish it was on a console, not a handheld. My god, I played this level like a thousand times when I was younger and on the multiplayer mode. But in that mode, there's no like ways you can fall out of the course. So the first time I got to the actual level in single player, I was like, this is so much fucking harder than the multiplayer version. Because <laughs> there's stakes. <laughs> it's like real life gambling. The music bops too. I'm listening. Oh, I love Bingo High. Well, Sonic oh, Heroes yeah. has a great soundtrack overall, but Bingo yeah. High is one of my favorite. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Just Sonic music in general is awesome. I wasn't sure if Team Dark had the miss on the bottom of the pinball table. Yes, yeah, one thing they're Oh my God. Thank Christ. Christ. No, so now good. you don't have to come back to this. <laughs> Johnny, did you bingo? No, I bingo. I got A. <laughs> hey, Johnny, did you bingo? Did you bingo? Did, <laughs> did bingo, you bingo, Johnny? Johnny? Did you bingo? Did you bingo? Did you bingo? Did you bingo, Johnny? I'm pretty sure that's an offspring song. <laughs> You've been smacked by. You've been hit by a truck. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can make a sound when you get hit by a truck. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah you're, you're making a sound. Oh, shit. I was more like, ah! <laughs> Ooh, wait, I can't make my sounds work. I think. No, wow. I um, Balls. 
Balls. Is that a sound effect? Balls. Balls. Oh, okay. No, but it is a mediocre fighting game on Super Nintendo. It really is. Balls? It was on uh, Genesis, too. Yeah. Oh, was that Balls, balls with a Z? Like the... Yeah, Balls 3D. <laughs> okay. I love 3D balls. We'll say it has a surprisingly underrated soundtrack. Gameplay, though? Ugh. Oh, hey, Wasn't that one for the SNES? Yeah. Jesus Christ, it's been forever. <laughs> Chaos Emerald. Are you going for 100%? Uh, yeah, eventually. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> right no, now, we're just playing through the story. Most of the Gala State is unlocked, and then after we I finish last story, we're going to revisit all of them, yeah. The, the minor graphical glitches on the fucking game bother the fuck out of me. What was I doing? Asleep on that base. And what about my memory? Your memory? <laughs> what memory? You have no past to remember. What? I love how Dr. Robotnik looks like a mix between Waluigi and Wario. I'll see you again soon. Like right now. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. He doesn't actually leave. Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? I really cannot give a flying fuck about the. And I think Team Dark has the worst ones because it was so long. They do. They're not. Uh, it's them and Chaotix. But I would give the nudge to Chaotix being the, not only just the longest one, but because they have the, their combat is in the series of Omega. Yeah. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Dark's is worse because because uh, Chaotix has Chaotix has the better uh, team blast. Yeah. Once you get your first team blast with these um. Uh, enemy rush bosses are chaotic. You're golden. Yeah, because of the point bonuses. And actually, you don't want to use a team blast with uh, Team Dark because you got to wait for the chaos control to expire. But you can also just manually shut it off too by hitting the team blast button again. <laughs> you can? Yeah, you can do that. Wow, that would be good to know. <laughs> How far have you gotten into this, Ben? Um, I know. So I've beaten it with all the teams, but I never got to the metal story because I could never oh. get Emerald 3 and Emerald 7. And these special stages are not good. They are not very good at all. These fuck a big whopping bear dick. Hey, you won't hire him back all for a stupid dime. <laughs> <laughs> Does know, the game tell you about shutting the time stop off? I don't know. That's not really something that I find so annoying, though. Is it in the manual? I don't know. It might be. I'll go check. The, the Yoshi's Island remix that, um... <laughs> of that SpongeBob clip just gets me every single time. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Alright, got my buttons working. There we go. Just, just be careful because your Windows system sounds coming too. Yeah, I gotta figure out what the hell the system is doing. Oh, Christ. Or you could spend one hundred and sixty dollars on a microphone. <laughs> Ugh. No, it's not a microphone I need. It's just my board isn't working with my PC for some reason. No, so, so like the mic that me and John have basically functions the same way of allowing you to split inputs. Yeah. Inputs and sources. You know what? I should be building a team blast while time is frozen. Just to be safe. Also, oh, when the thing decides to actually work. No, don't do that shit. I meant to shoot to Omega. Shift to Omega. What's going on? Oh, he's stunned. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Well, how stunned Omega? He got. He probably got caught in one of the the turtle uh, projectiles. Wait. What? But where's your your road roller?
I'll wait until well, then we're not playing Shadow yet. <laughs> not be we are playing Shadow, but we're not playing Shadow Shadow. Right, so that was a gun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's dangerous. You would not make it in the hood, dude. <laughs> this is the ultimate power. Yeah, Clark, that was the um yeah, it was the gun, I get it. Okay. Somebody's not being very two way conscious. Well Clark, that sound effect where it comes from, it's the um sound effect in the Shadow of the Hedgehog whenever you make a selection on the menu screen. Oh, Wait, 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 wait. I, I skimmed through the manual. No, there's no talking about that. Second thing, apparently my copy from Sonic Heroes is from uh, Wilston, Vermont. Wait, one more time? Show. Repeat that. Uh, so my copy of Sonic Heroes that I bought at a swap meet is from Passport Video at at 104 Corner Store Drive, Wilson, Vermont. Good to know. All right. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that place probably isn't open anymore. No. <laughs> that just, now you just made me sad. And Copyright 1962. Uh, I don't mean, that cat's probably a long dead. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know Shadow had like a handgun. Shit, that he's bad. <laughs> I love you, kitchen gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. My name is Derek Bum. <laughs> Come on, Team Blast. I see you want to pop you. Thank you. Jesus. Sweet Jesus! Yeah. Turn it down a little bit because we did get points for it, complaints for it last time. Points? Complaints. Wait, what do you mean by complaints? Uh, as in... <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I know what you mean by complaints. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> is that a gun? Who complained? <laughs> oh, yeah. it, it's almost like you said points. And like, no, 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 I said complaints. You, we have detractor points now? What? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to worry about a ranking system like Devil May Cry, but for streaming? <laughs> Devil May Cry is such a good title. It really is a good time. So, I just googled what it is now. The Passport video is now a meat and seafood market. Well, okay, that's more beneficial. Yeah. Well, Clark's Blockbuster went on to be a uh, drugstore. Yeah, my, my my blockbuster went to be a drugstore. Yeah, I don't know your, why. I repeat your it blood pressure? No. no. Uh, what did blockbuster? The, what did the Hollywood video become around my area? Uh, the Hollywood video around my area became a Verizon store too. Yeah, and the other blockbuster by in Morrisville became a um, Advanced Auto Parts. Yeah, and then, Blockbuster and then, here in town and down in Tallahassee, where the rest of my family lives, both became hair salon places yeah. for whatever reason. And the Toys R Us by me became a car wash. It is the weirdest thing. I was just there the other day for yeah. uh, the Goodwill. It's weird. It's it's a it's a it's a it's like the, it's the it's the store that it used. To, it's the husk of the store, but inside the store is just a it's giant, just a giant car wash. Car wash. <laughs> it's so. Weird. I mean, it looks like it's actually like a pretty cool setup. It's just. It looks awesome. It's just I, I miss going in there and being able to like look at the toys. No, you broke the toys and put them back in the box. Oh, that I did that too. That was fun. No, it's fun. <laughs> that was a fun. That's just like me. <laughs> what an asshole! I said it any better, Mr. <laughs> a Toys R Us here became a Planet Fitness. Uh, the last the Toys R Us around my area still is just an empty building. I don't know if anybody uh, put the money down at least. But... Someone so, in the chat said uh, the, the Toys R Us became a Sprite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm guessing it's I'm guessing the Spirit Halloween. Or no, they mean Sprite. Just the bottle of soda. <laughs> oh, right. it's, just, it's just the crowd there. It's Sprite's territory now. Hey, this is the second part of the demo on the Mario Kart yeah, if I recall. 
Yes, correct. This and a seaside hole with a two level levels. Wait, you they fucking made you do rail cannon as Team Dark for the demo? Yeah. yeah. That dumb shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this would make a good roller coaster. This is just the ideal level to get your, play get your players. Yeah, level design work right out of Action Park. Play as Action Park. <laughs> I'd imagine that their feet really hurt after this. Oh, they're wearing shoes. I know. Oh. Yeah, the shoes are probably something like they line going through them by the end of it. But it must hurt when your feet go through the um, the accelerator. So. Yeah, kind of. Ow! What's the best? What's the best level in Sonic Heroes to show all these uh these kids who may never have played a 3D Sonic game before <laughs> what 3D Sonic's all about? Oh, Just put yeah, in where you don't use the stick at all for like the first minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and the demo's only a minute long. So am I the only one who does not trust any business that fulfills an old Wawa building? Like oh, takes what? takes their spot? Yeah, because yeah, so there is um there used to be a Wawa close to where I live now that is now just a standard like mini mart. Yeah, it's like Happy Mart or something. Yeah, something depending like on where you are. And it's like I know fundamentally it's similar, but it just doesn't look right. I don't trust it. Yeah, like I don't want to go <laughs> just, in there. It looks like I'm a just, bootleg. I'm the same way with any kind of building where it was originally like a school or a bank or something. Or how about the uh, you know old Pizza Huts? That become like dentist office. Here's an idea. Let's make a museum into a police office. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest You're Wawa genius, now, Irons. or the old Wawa at oh, Ron and oh God. at Ron and the Boulevard is they turned a, that big Wawa into a diner. That's cool. That uh, on the Boulevard, are you talking about Ritz? Maybe it's it at Ron and the Boulevard. Yeah, because Ritz definitely looked like it was a Wawa at some point. Oh yeah, because they just built a uh, Super Wawa up like at um, Ryan in the Boulevard, right by Barbera. And the only reason why Wawa is closed is because they relocate. I don't think I've ever seen a Wawa go out of business. Yeah. yeah as, a, as a person from the West Coast, I have no idea what y'all talking We're about. We're just talking about Delicatessen. Yeah, I, I, I it, it's it's similar to In and Out Burger, but on the East Coast, but it's not In and Out Burger. It's an exclusive. I don't Nor have one of those burger. either. Wow, that's a good save job. Nice save. That was a great save. Actually, Wawa does have hamburgers now at some locations, and I yeah, hear they're I, terrible. Yeah, I'm <laughs> hamburgers? There is a yes, convenience store. Yeah, hamburgers. There, there is a convenience store in Burbank that's the equivalent to Wawa, and I forget its name. Um, because uh, I go to I, I, I used to go to California a lot. Not now, I'm doing this. But, also, um, what's Trader Joe's? A Trader Joe's is essentially a place that is good frozen pizza, and it's great. Well, and, and a lot of other good stuff too. Like, um, it's it's, it's essentially affordable, yeah. healthy food, or yeah. or more yeah. um, less processed. I'd say L less processed. Yeah, it, 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 it um, it's a little expensive, but it's worth it because the food. It, it's actually not that expensive though. That's like the whole point. It's like a small supermarket that's not. Imagine like the Aldi, oh, oh, like an Aldi, but like the Whole Foods version of Aldi. If that makes sense. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say just a cheaper, like a cheaper. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It, I, I, I misphrased it. It's not. It, it's not expensive. Expensive. It's more expensive than if you would get like processed stuff, but it's still affordable. See, but so the thing like is, like, public, uh, it's spoken basically. spoken word, I always mishear it as Trader Joe. Okay. And <laughs> it's Trader. like, why would I go to someone that would betray me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're oh, the backstabbing you. pats. <laughs> yeah, Trader Joe's is great. Though. There's one near me. I haven't been to it since the pandemic began because it's a small store, so there's always like a line of like a hundred people outside. Oh, yeah, and you can only have like twenty people. Inside mm -hmm. or and I'm like, I'm not waiting in line. I can go to Giant up the street without a wait. But what Whoa. Trader Joe's is good for? It's good for like easy like frozen meals, and it's great for like meat and produce. Okay, so basically, it's just like a Sprouts or a Publix. Yeah, I used to go to Wilson's. Yeah. Booth. Well, not it's, like, it's, all like, it's all house brands. Like um, portable. We only got one here in Alabama, apparently, that I just learned of. That's in Birmingham. And they're about to build one in the city near me. Which, this city is kind of getting a lot of stuff built in one little area. So now we've got a, uh, a rock climbing place. 
and we also have a uh, like a Top Golf and a um, a Dave and Buster's. So now you don't have to drive 100 miles out to go to Dave and Buster's anymore. Oh, that's another interesting thing. We had Changer in Clark's area, the, a path mark, which used to be like a supermarket that closed it's, down. It's got a Discovery Zone kind of thing. I forget what it's called. Yeah. Are, those Sam's? Are those no, but a thing? It's a party zone kind of thing. It's a. But yeah, it has like go karts and stuff now. It's like yeah. Oh, like you know, uh, Arnold's Family, family Fun Center, Center, basically. Yep. Okay. It's a fun Family Fun Center kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Which is, by the way, that's the lamest name you could possibly give a business. And by the way, it's really busy apparently. So. Right now. Yeah. It's wow. Busy. Yeah. I'm empty. Whatever oh, I driven by. Is T in the chat? Is T Where? Here? I'm seeing T. I'm seeing people saying T lips in the chat. Is T here? Where? Uh, hey. T, I need you to say something. Say something that only I would know. <laughs> what were we talking about last night? That's how I'll know it's you and not some imposter. I'm uh, sorry, I have to ask because people do that sometimes. Yeah, I hate when they do that. Well, I'm gonna... Chaos control. Would you like to see John? Oh, okay, yeah, we, we did discuss that. At some point or another, I think I might have asked that too. Can I see that? Safe what? flight <laughs> steak. Yeah, people impersonating people is kind of creepy. Don't stop them from doing it, though. Yeah. Tell Johnny you want to hear him rap. <laughs> this is something we. Oh God. I don't mind the idea, but I'm, don't ask me to write my lyrics. I'm terrible at that shit. Well, okay, more accurately, I never done that shit. It's you kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> Just bust out some girls and yards, you should be fine. <laughs> it is I, T. Lopes. It is I, T. Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> What's with these trains? Get ready. Here they come. But I, I, it's kind of cool to see all these different um, businesses kind of coming here for, for once. It's just what? a little bit sad that the only reason why they came here is because the old mall closed down, and so they demolished it to make space. Why do I think you were in Georgia? No, you're thinking of Ryan. I'm the nobody. Oh. <laughs> Nobody's don't have houses. <laughs> hey, T, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Zenith. If you had a house, you would know what it's like to lose yours. Unfortunately for you, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, I have a yes song for you to sing along to. Let's okay. see if you can do this. Sure. They come from space, so they don't come from space. We are the space people. <laughs> I guess the Discord latency makes that more difficult than it, it does, should be. Yeah, it really does. But I, I, I fucking, oh my god, what, I go into the every time I hear that song. What is that song called? Space people. They space come from space, so they don't come from here. Oh my god. No, no, go the other. Oh, Mr. Plow. Oh. That's my name. My name, my name, my name again, again is Mr. Mr. Plow. Plow. How about my ding a ling? <laughs> my ding a ling. This show is a The lightly toasted and hard as hell. There was sure, nothing in our Capone's vault. <laughs> but it wasn't Geraldo's fault. <laughs> if this fog gets taken down because of the fucking bust of nut song, <laughs> I'll be hyster I'll be in hysterics more than just like angry. Christ, stop going that way. There goes my income, but no, I laughed. Hey, I got a free bag of corn nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want some? It's fruit bowl flavored. Get ready. Here they come. Oh. At least he got to bust a nut before it all ended. Oh my so, god. <laughs> so, how, so, how properly is this game coded from what it seems like? Hey, you want to wink at me here? SA2 flashbacks. Can you wink? Can you wink while in the middle of a grind rail? Your ass is really out, though. 
<laughs> like, holy fuck. Does Someone does wipe? yoga. Christ, why is it? Why is her leg <laughs> twisted backwards? Because they're Sonic heroes. <laughs> no wink, only ass. <laughs> hey, Slim, thank you for the raid. Party of 16. We're just talking about space people and corn nut ads. Busting nuts. Yeah, and busting nuts. Like Enjoy yourself. We won't <laughs> <laughs> you know, we just put that on loop throughout the entirety of November. <laughs> oh, God. For any of those that do the really romantic. No, okay, uh, that would be better if I didn't fucking stall all my words. Uh, Don't do no none of November. Have your daily oh, I, wank. I, I, oh, I fell no none of November. <laughs> daily? Every year. No, no. <laughs> daily? Well, like, like hourly. Accurate. I actually one -to -one had a. Uh, right before I climax. <laughs> I can verify. I actually, um. <laughs> Were you looking at me? What the fuck? <laughs> no, it's through the spy cam and you're real installed. I'm just thinking ahead, man. Let's be honest. Once the gaming <laughs> career ends, you need to sell bath water, man. So I actually had a uh, tweet go viral last year during No Nut November. For some reason, one of the, um,. Skyscrapers in Center City was like shooting water off of the top floor. Yeah. I, and I just tweeted the, the video saying, Well, I guess that building filled no nut November. <laughs> and the tweet went viral. I was so proud. I was so proud my tweet went viral. <laughs> yeah, man, that's really nice of it. Like, I, I did a similar tweet uh, last year uh, with Sonic and the Black Knight. It's when mm -hmm. Sonic goes Excalibur Sonic, and the last thing to transform is the sword. Uh, but the sword transforms in this big explosion of light while Sonic is holding it near his crotch area. So uh, that was my uh, that's my new one. Yeah, I oh, had I, a, I remember a tweet I made that went viral once. It was when um I put a it was when I put a knife through the air. Uh, oh, of the that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. Because Johnny, Johnny texted me afterwards was like Matt. An explanation? That was like, blah. Yeah, you're a monster. And now I'm hungry for noodles. This video is sponsored by Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> <laughs> the game? No, the crappy mobile game. We're under fucking attack. <laughs> That's my favorite uh, version of that mobile game. Hey, Johnny, what level are we on? Uh, we are on Bullet Station. Okay, yeah. There goes one. <laughs> well, I gotta go catch the 301 bullet now, because <laughs> the 3 the three o'clock bullet just went. But there goes the 301, the 302. God, this is not my day. The light speed parade will now begin shortly. <laughs> and that concludes <laughs> the light speed <laughs> parade. <laughs> Oh, we're the boys of first crack. We know you like our show. <laughs> we know you're rooting for us, but now, now we, we have, have to go. go. That was the only song I could think of that year when Ryan was like, okay, I'm going to stay here, but I'm going to leave right in the middle of my own battle. Come <laughs> <laughs> by, Shadow. We don't need you. That was like because uh, Ryan it's had to catch his... Forever. Ryan had a flight to catch, and he couldn't stay for the entire panel. And we had him on a conference call. <laughs> <laughs> when he was on the way back to the airport. Ah, feature proving. The first Zoom meeting, from what yeah. it seems like. <laughs> yeah, basically. Did he have corn nuts too? No, I don't think he had corn nuts. I don't know. Is Ryan no corn, nuts. corn nuts? I think Ryan's streaming right now. Is Ryan streaming right now? Get in. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. Yet. He's still streaming by the time the only does We'll just read him. Oh, no, he's in the chat. Okay, never mind. He That's could do both. I don't know why I bother fucking grabbing the key. I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Which way is the cannon facing? I don't know. God, God, Which way is God. cannon facing? Level up. Also, Ben, does Bustin make you feel good? <laughs> what really kills me is the second verse. The second verse about like going to bed and stuff is really funny. Wait, a what? Yeah, there's, there's a second verse. Good. Toasted and hard as well. Enjoy yourself, we won't tell. Everybody, 
Nobody tells it, they like it a lot. You can do it at school, just don't yeah. get caught. Don't get it takes a few minutes <laughs> if you don't feel late. Take your time, make your last on three. It's time to take the walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, yeah. Oh my god, you know what's funny? Because I, I, I think I, I first heard of that song during the President Steve show. And uh, now every time I hear it, I think of Matt and Co. Veronica. When it's he had no play. inventory space for the item that oh, Claire gives Chris, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, the, the game, and he had to. It was like it was a really, it was this, it was a completely unintentional moment. Matt legitimately just forgot to clear a space up for the item, and he, realizing the that, he just goes slowly back to the item box. The walk of shame. The walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ! Can I just let you? I think I just punched you. Yeah, I just blow it up with a flame thrower. Ooh, that was a bit too loud. Uh, Sonic Heroes fun fact: You know those obstacles that can flatten you if you're not careful? They can be destroyed by power characters. However, not all can be destroyed. Okay, so why the hell? How do you differentiate between the two? All those, like the the camera purple. All those weights are you also going to trap your teammates. Well, how do you know which ones Doesn't you can... Sonic Riders do that too? Well, Sonic Riders has, car has obstacles that, that other types can just straight up break, yeah. But if we're just talking about, like, the crushers, if certain pow if power characters can break certain ones, how do you tell the difference? Why do people keep calling me? Because the election is What up with that? What up with that? Ooh what up with that? What up with that? Hey, guess what? What's I've up? got an email from Papa Nikki <laughs> telling me to go ahead and enroll in my 2021 Medicare plan. Oh, oh yeah, this is around the time of the year where they do that. So, uh, you thought all those damn political texts you've been getting on your phone are annoying. Now it's time for the uh, Medicare for All plan emails and shit. No, this is a scam. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I mean, so is Medicare for All. <laughs> Medicare for All is a dream, not a scam. Yeah. So, we're calling you today on your call warranty. All right, cool. I just want to be able to get treated without fucking putting a hole in my wallet. Thank you. Or my head. Or, yeah, or... <laughs> oh, yeah, or... Well... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, so, so for whatever reason, a lot of at t customers have been getting scams uh, from folks claiming to be the comp you know, the company. Okay. And I just answer those calls and let them go on. I'm like, yeah, go on. Go on. Yeah. Well, I work the, for the company, by the way. I've been seeing... <laughs> so you're lying out your ass. I, I've been seeing posts on Twitter about folks actually responding to those political texts that they get from once in a while. And apparently they're not, some of them are not bots. I like, mean, my girlfriend literally does that yeah. for work, so. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, so, so there's, it's actual people sending you those texts. Yeah. Yeah. But she said if you try to get smart with one of them and they actually respond, you, especially if you went very grotesque and over the top with it, you just committed sexual harassment. Uh -oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I almost... I feel like I got put on the watch list earlier this year because someone texted me like, what do you think we should do about the um, that party being in office right now? And I was just like, I just replied, guillotines. Guillotine, guillotine, guillotine. <laughs> and I don't think they knew how to respond. They were like, uh, okay, but what can we really do about this? Guillotine. I mean, if they continued the conversation, then I don't think you're on any watch list. Yeah, but still, guillotines are a problem. They're geared to everything. So, what policies are you looking forward to from your from your congressman, Guillotine? Can, <laughs> what? Exactly. The shortage of guillotines, I noticed. Oh, you're a fan of guillotines? Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bring them back.
Oh, I, li- I like the is. guy. I like his policies and all, but he just wasn't fierce enough on the guillotine issue. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't. Like, see, yeah, the, I don't like cowards. <laughs> here's the text thread. Fucking pussies. So, does Omega's like head kind of look like he has like a comb over, or is that just me? That's just you. Oh, okay. I don't see it, but I don't know. Maybe if oh. I'm drunk enough. <laughs> Uh, what's a gu- I was like, what's a guillotine, says Kia Princess. Like, well, it's actually, they spell it for Nightland. It's kind of, that's pretty adorable. <laughs> uh, a guillotine. You've likely seen it in history books. It's old-fashioned means of delivering capital punishment. <laughs> Chop it's, off with yeah. your head. It's, I was going to say, that's how you, that's how you, that's how you uh, combine personas, but all right. Yeah. <laughs> you actually do that, too, yeah, in Persona 5. You put it under the guillotine. And so wait, for what? It's a persona fusion. The game is very big. The game has a theme of a uh, law and punishment, which doesn't really fucking work. But the whole thing is, is that whenever you fuse personas in Persona Five, you put two of the old ones under a guillotine blades, and they chop their heads off. And the essences from those two become the new persona you make. So you you fuse by putting them under the guillotine. Yeah, it's yeah. nothing. New. It's nothing new for Mega Ten though. In a uh, Rado Kusadoa, you pretty much set two of them to electrocuted two of your demons to make a new one. Okay. Yeah. It's just basic shock value. With right, 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 right. I, I yeah. figured that because this is also the same series that has you put a gun to your head to summon your persona. So. Yeah, yeah but right. man, remember, this is new for persona. Totally different series. <laughs> and according to Urban Dictionary, guillotine means a prank when you are over a friend's house and you call his girlfriend and tell her he wants a blowjob. Then hide in the closet when she is sucking his cock, you jump out of the closet naked and surprise her, causing her to fight down on your friend's dick. Oh my god. Cock and ball torture. What the Otherwise fuck? Otherwise known as a CBT. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're not my... <laughs> I've heard me some shit, boys. But you see, I, I went through, me. like, two rapid emotions hearing that because like, a, it's a guillotine is when you, you fucking you, you, you trick someone into giving your friend a blow just like, okay. And then they bite that like, oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, guillotine. <laughs> uh, I love pulling a prank on my friends. <laughs> Do you remember when I got that girl to bite your dick off? Oh, it was great. <laughs> Good times. Hey, sorry about the dick. And the really high medical bill. Oh, my ball! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he had insurance. <laughs> oh, no, no insurance on top of it. That's just cruel. Ah, I see your insurance does not cover this. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'll break that <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's the gun from that one stage in Sonic Mania. Come on, I'm making sure I'm lying appropriately because I always fuck this one up. Look how this—you notice how this spring is spinning fast? Well, they, wait, why do they spin fast and then slow? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Someone's playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> so I have that text thread pulled up. So it says, I'm blank from Working America. COVID has shown CEOs get richer, even when the rest of us are going broke. What do you think is the best way to change that? Then I just replied, guillotine. Guillotine. <laughs> and they're like, yes, yeah, people are frustrated with concentrated power. What is your experience? What can you do? Guillotine. <laughs> I did not stutter. <laughs> I think I shocked them because I like replied instantly. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have fun with them. I think last year someone tried sending me a text from one of those things. I just replied like, "No, I'm John DeBella. Sorry." <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> All problems are solved with my guillotine. My guillotine. Oh, I want you to that fall a, under my fun. guillotine. This show is over. To Said the French. <laughs> no problem. Let's get moving. The guillotine was created because there were too many complaints. <laughs> about the executioner <laughs> not getting the job done in one swing. <laughs> is that oh. true? Who's yes. Oh, better be funny as shit. That oh, is it's true. because the executioner's act swing wasn't efficient enough. Yes. Too many yeah. re- There are many, many times they survived the first swing. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, I mean, I wouldn't have been. even if they didn't, if it, even if it wasn't one clean swoop, they're likely dead just from the blunt force trauma alone. No. No, they, they don't weren't. die like that. Hmm. Mr. 
Two fact, headed 31 proved that. In, in fact, your head is conscious for about 10 seconds after you get it sliced off. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> you know from experience? <laughs> Uh, I, know. I, I, I know. I've been reincarnated. I've been reincarnated. Yeah. Um, I'm. I'm. Uh, who, who got? Yeah. You know, I'm just gonna fly over this. Napoleon Dynamite. Is it Napoleon? Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon. <laughs> I mean, I'm not Napoleon. I'm not, no. no, Napoleon. Uh, my uh, head is missing from my head. God, this sucks. Kayaki. Uh, <laughs> the guillotine is actually more humane than having a dude with an axe. <laughs> up here. Scrub. You scrub. See, this is what happens when you don't vote for Pedro. God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too great. I'm so sorry, John. Oh. It fucking revisionist history. <laughs> <laughs> On tonight's no, episode. I'm not kidding about the humane thing. Oh, On tonight's episode of Drunk History. Something's come into my head and they pop out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the blade. <laughs> the blade. Blow my my I know that's gonna fucking linger. <laughs> Somebody please clip that. <laughs> Remember in the history books, you just see the animated gif of Napoleon dancing. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the head doesn't come yeah, off. So, like, idiot. <laughs> groin. So literally, the reason why the guillotine uh, went into favor is because swords and axes took two or more blows to kill the uh, condemned, and most people who got hung, well, I mean, there's a couple that would survive. So they believed that the guillotine was more humane because it was quote unquote painless. I'm guessing that wasn't supposed to happen. No. No. Yeah. What happened to you? Uh, the, the car didn't launch me. Oh shit! You're stuck. Can I make this? Wait, this no. <laughs> that rail was really. Uh, I know, it's kind of low. Is there is glitch? no way in hell you're gonna make that. I think he Bro. has this easy. Bro, no, no, this run I, don't, I don't. Bro, this run has been absolutely cursed. Maybe. Ah uh, no. <sighs> Man, by what the guillotines or no problem. Oh, Chris. Hold on. Alright, so right there I had X held down, so if I let go of X, I was gonna do the rocket acceleration. Was that a glitch or did you It had to have been, yeah. I never had that happen to me before. I'm honestly surprised. Like, that this le this yeah, is legit that my most like cursed run of Sonic Heroes I've ever done. And you guys are able to catch this live. Like hurrah, but like see, here's normally not this buggy for me. Like it's jank, but it's not broken. <laughs> it's not Sonic Boom. No, it's well, it's not no, 06 either. Nothing. It can't be that bad. Yeah. I heard Sonic Boom is really, really good. Well, Sonic Boom is unfinished. Well, so is 06, so to be fair. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't watch DuckTales. Uh, Mario uh, and I wonder, uh, there so. was one episode that I got a kick out of where... Uh, I forget which one of the three twins it was. Which one of the three triplets it was. But it was him <laughs> and the female <laughs> duck. I almost said that too. Um, it was one of they were their two kids were feeding actual ducks with absolutely no loss of irony, and the alien is looking at duck the tree. duck feeding the ducks like, wait, 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 what? <laughs> duck tree. Woo! I knew something about duck design. <laughs> Uh, I, I've never seen DuckTales, but I have watched Tailspin. I don't know if you guys ever watched Duck Tree. Uh, a couple of times as, as, uh, as a kid. That's it, though. Not much. Oh, uh, we are. Uh... You should watch the new DuckTales. It's really charming. Yeah, yeah, I heard it's really good. I also saw DuckTales the movie, which is like an Indiana Jones kind of thing. The, the big problem about DuckTales on uh, Disney Plus is that it's out of order. A lot of stuff on Disney Plus is out of order. I think also Clone. You're out of order! <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it is out of order. <laughs> I did play the um, the terrible Telespring game for the Genesis. Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody's going to the court. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the law and order sound. Man. Very good. <laughs> Is someone's cat at the microphone? No. <laughs> 
No, that would be my cat meow because he's hungry for food, even though I just fed him. All pussy. God. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> All pussy. So much. <laughs> what? No, just getting woken up at like four in the morning by the cat. By oh, only one of the cats screaming uh -oh. its lungs out. Hi, Pam. Dude, not for nothing. If this cat wasn't my mother's cat, I'd have thrown the fuck out. Oh, Michael, why are you so late to the punch, dude? <laughs> yeah, keep your pussy well. Luckily, the cat that I don't like got kicked out. Boom. Alright. But I mean, they kicked him out for good reason, though. Why? Was he attacking the other cats? No, he was pissing blood all over the floor. Oh. Oh, oh that fun. shifted really hard to a direction yeah. I was not expecting it to. This took an unexpected turn. And then even after that got fixed, apparently it was from the water, which is worrisome about our drinking water. But, the drinking um, water is... Like, the quality of the drinking water made the cat piss blood? Yes. No, we, we, we live in a country where like water can be flammable, so. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get your water, yeah. Flint? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> no fracking. Uh, we got it from Shelbyville. <laughs> so fracking, um, they run the gas through the same line as the water. Right. What the fuck? So you can, you know, light a match to your water, water main, and it'll explode. Oh, dude, Ian comes through again with a great image. But no, for me, I think our water our water comes from a, um, a well. So I think that may be the issue. There is a random day every year in some towns where the uh, water department will switch the sewage line and the, um, in, in the intake line. Oops. I don't know why they do that, but... It just sucks because I've been to our water treatment plant and it looks decent at the very least. Not cat piss all blood decent. all over the place. They all look decent until you actually know what's going on with them. Yeah, the sausage through yeah. my ball sack. Yeah, the sausage principle. Yeah, pretty much. But, I uploaded um, the picture on the Twitter, on the uh, Discord for the record. That's an amazing photo. That's great. Suck it! Suck my sausage! No, I said sausage, not sausage. No, you oh, did say sausage. No, you gosh, remember, it. um, Johnny, you did Cinder say Block? No, no, I was talking about sausage principle. What I was talking about earlier. Oh. I don't like you remember that. Remember oh, the cat Cinder Block? Cat Cinder what? The the cat named Cinder Block. No. The one that was on, like, a water treadmill, um, because it was so Oh, the, the fat cat. I've heard about him, yeah. No. Well, uh... The cat that got kicked out is that fat. <laughs> so oh. he needs the exercise anyway. And so far, we saw him trying to uh, to climb up the side of a, uh, a seesaw. And he uh, he fell. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> that, 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 Don't worry, the fat cushioned, oh. the, cushioned the blow. The fat cushioned the blow. That, that, that makes me feel a lot better inside. No, he, he didn't land on his feet. <laughs> Landed on the side, and he just rolled on over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Brian, thank you for the bits. Uh, yeah, I will be uh, participating in uh, Linky's Crash 2 race. That is on October 30th. I'm just going to watch that. That's pretty interesting. Although, well, Strange probably got to wipe the floor. Garfield Hey! Nice. Let's Bust Make Jaeger, we fixed the whole pissing blood thing first. I think it's a little nut off. <laughs> Nuts to this. Nuts to this, yeah. What the hell was that? That was Ghostbusters. Yeah, dun, dun, dun. yeah. I, I know what it was. I mean, like, where is it coming from? Oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> I wouldn't put anything that I wouldn't put everything my, into my sideboard to risk getting the bot muted. Yeah, I don't have some. But that's why I wouldn't play that much of it. <laughs> oh my god. Don't get to Spanish, please. I have to get Spanish, you know. It was a little don't Spanish, please. A record star, he don't eat me. He heard of singers like Beatles, the chipmunks he's seen on TV. Why not a little Spanish, please? 
this joke. Am I the only one who thinks The Simpsons haven't been that bad? I don't think the the current season. I haven't bad. watched any new season of Simpsons in years, dude. I um, I can't make that judgment call. I don't think they're that bad either, but it's sort of like, I'm, well, I'm not exactly busting my sides laughing. I'm certainly not. I think I'm it's certainly not the See, the thing with me is that the damage has been done already by over a decade of mediocrity. And it's like at that point, like, despite what I might hear about, oh, actually, monsters are not that bad. I was like, ah, man, I don't know. It's like, already been burned. That's fine. Yeah, the damage is already done. The but you're still game. playing Sonic games. Yeah. The, la the, the last modern season season episode I've seen with Simpsons was the one we did the Futurama crossover. Okay. Um, I I I, I, I like that one. Yeah. I, I, uh, I think uh, was the I think Shoot Through My Ball Sack. That school one is probably one of my favorite episodes. Now, True Through My Ball Sack. Yeah. That's <laughs> I stopped after. Yeah. Uh, all together, I stopped after like season 12, 13. Yeah, because that was like 2002, uh, yep. 2003, I think I want to say. Yep, yep. I think the first 11 seasons are the, are the pinnacle. I think the first season kind of it's a little weird. The first season is very weird. First season's yeah. off, yeah, because it didn't have an identity yeah. at that point. Yeah, Second season but what about the music CD? Oh, oh god, yeah. you know, I I just remembered about that a, a couple of days ago when I was yeah, on a yeah. Simpsons clip binge. Yeah, do the part man or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh. Whatever Bleeding Gums Murphy song, I think that's on it. Yeah. I'm sorry, Donkey Kong, you're just not a draw anymore. <laughs> hey, he still yeah, got it. He still got it. <laughs> Don't you know why I'm still singing, singing the blues? Uh, what was, that? What was the guy? What was the actor's name? Was it Brian Cranston? It was somebody who recently played. Are you talking about Bleeding Gums Murphy? No, 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 no. The guy who played. Um, no, no. Who's the guy who played the guy in Death Wish? Oh, uh, Charles Bronson. Uh, Charles Bronson in Death Wish Nine. Eating Cheetos and masturbating. <laughs> Charles Bronson in Death Wish Nine. I wish I was dead. Oi. You brought a meth lab to the airport. <laughs> Here, here's Senior Wolfcast in his new movie, Oh, My Son is a Nerd. <laughs> I go back from the army and it turns out my son's a nerd. Oh, I'm laughing already. It's not a comedy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. The Death Wish remake was not that. Uh, I saw somebody have said it. The Death Wish remake is not as good as the original. I didn't even know there was a Death Wish remake. Yeah. Um. The the, the original Death Wish is awesome. Uh, I think Death Wish Two is a little. Um. It it's not it's not Godfather Two Godfather, but it's it's decent. I never seen the other two. I miss the Simpsons music album. Oh, Testify or whatever it's called? Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Seuss. No, the, uh, the Simpsons sings the blues. Yeah, there's an, uh, there's an actually a dedicated musical album based off Simpsons. I think it was like a season two or three. Yeah. Does it have the Dingling song in it? Oh, was, that, was, was, that, was that poster <laughs> preview of the Bartman? Oh, oh my god. It included the Bartman with it. Slide. Oh, Mr. Plow, my least fucking name, favorite thing about this is shit is that I was not holding any direction on the analog stick there because I know that will happen. I will just land and I will slide because they hold on to their momentum while landing. Spider pig, spider pig. Oh god, turn, turn that off now, please. Turn it off pig. now, please. I, 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 that song legitimately angers me. Why is it angry now? Well, because not, not it was so fucking overplayed when the uh, movie was being yeah. promoted, dude. I got so <laughs> tired of it. I got really fucking tired of that song. Uh, yeah. John, remember to text Spider Pig to 8979 for your free Spider Pig ringtone. It's a really good joke, but they overplayed it, I get you. I didn't even think it was that good of a joke. And well, what I did appreciate, though, about the, the Simpsons movie, that other than that joke, a lot of the stuff in the trailer was not in the actual movie. The only thing that was funny about Spider Pig was the big silo that said pig crap on it. That was the only part of that whole thing that was funny to me. Yeah, um, yeah. 
I did appreciate his name was Harry Plotter later on. Harry Plotter. <laughs> oh, Mr. Plow! That's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Now, Mr. Plow comes from season four, which is probably that's a great episode. Not just that, that season is fucking awesome. Uh, I'm torn between season four and five. Five has the has the monorail, right? I oh, believe yeah. so. I, I, yeah. I think, yeah, and and four I think also has the one where Homer gets a heart attack, which is fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah, oh. that's a great one. Uh, All right, it seems my work here is done. Why are you gonna do nothing? Did not. Anyway, not you didn't do anything. <laughs> Order now, Did and not. you'll also get sun and run. The suntime lotion, that's also a laxative. You know that feeling you get when a thousand knives of fire are stabbing you in the heart? I got that right now. Ooh, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the heart attack episode is fucking awesome. <laughs> and, and, Hilarious as a heart attack does not quite apply to oh, this game, though. Oh, yeah, but, um... And when the the the, the doctor uh, pushes his gut and he's like, cancel my th my 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 cancel my one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I still think one of my favorite parts is uh, my son's not a communist. He may be an idiot, a fat ass, <laughs> a communist, communist. <laughs> but he is not a chiropractor. <laughs> one, one of my favorite lines is from uh, I think I love Lisa, where um Ralph is is dating Lisa and 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 she spills chocolate all over him and Wiggum goes. Oh, nothing gets chocolate out. <laughs> See? I like the one with uh with Frank Grimes, and he comes to meet Homer's yeah. family. And he, he's like, hi, this is my son, Bart. He owns a factory. That's <laughs> <laughs> like the B plot that Bart buying that factory from Surplus. And then and then he thinks he's lying about being an astronaut and everything. And then... Yeah, well, that granny? was around the tail end of when the uh, <laughs> Simpsons started degrading quality because I remember like Frank Grimes' uh, the uh, Homer's yeah, enemy. Was, I think it, was the name of the episode. That yep. was like season right. seven or eight, I think. Yeah, that was around the tail end of peak mm -hmm. Simpsons. Uh, season eleven, I think, is the cutoff. Yeah. Um, there's a great episode in uh, where Mrs. Krabappel and Principal Skinner are caught making out in the school, and then Ralph. Goes oh to the yes. Miss Principal Skinner and Mrs. Krabappel were in the closet making babies, and I saw one of the babies, and the baby looked at me, and then, and then Wiggum just goes straight up, the baby looked at you? Yeah, the, oh. the baby looked at you. <laughs> That's a great episode. Oh, and John, to answer your question, the Simpsons album came out on December 4th, 1990. 1990? Good one. And That's my dad owned it day one. That's season two, season three. Holy fuck. I think it'd be the classic. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Uh, <laughs> Super Nintendo Chalmers. <laughs> I'm in danger, which is from the Simpsons Family Guy episode. Yeah, uh, another good one is um, when they go to Itchy and Scratchy Land and Bart's looking for the, um, what's his name? name? He's like, all right, uh, Bert? Bert? Oh, yeah, Bert? Yeah. I love Bert. <laughs> I, 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 I do love I do love that in uh, Universal Studios at the Simpsons area, they actually have a board license plate. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have to. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then there's the one where Ralph is making friends with Bart and he's like, this is my swing set. This is my garage. This is my this is my sand castle. This is where the leprechaun like, talks to me. He told me to burn, burn things. things. <laughs> oh, I bet my Wookiee. I bet my Wookiee. <laughs> it's also interesting, Clark, that you're... One of your favorite episodes, Homer versus the City of New York, is right before yeah. the episode where people said they jumped the shark, which is the yeah, the principal and the popper. Oh, oh they, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, that, uh, that's horrible. Principal Skinner's uh, real name I thought the is, episode yeah. was okay, but I don't like what it did to the lore of the other characters. Yeah. yeah. What, it, what, it, what it does to Skinner. It, it, has one, it has one of my favorite Skinner lines, though. Up yours, children! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Drew through my ball sack. The album went platinum in 10 days. Yeah. Wow. Um, in 1990. That wow. Was like, that was, that was like peak Simpsons hype though. Can I not grind on that tree stuff? All right, yeah. hold on. Then back, I might, I might, I might be thinking of something else. Back then, back then, oh. Bart, Bart was the star in that home. Too. All this fucking like Simpsons shit makes me want to replay through Simpsons Hit and Run. Hit and Run is great. Right right I also like, um... What's the Road Rage? The one that's like... Yeah, that one. It's called Road Rage. It's just called Simpsons Road Rage. Oh, it is Simpsons Road Rage. I think Hit and Run's a game too, though. It is. I, yeah, I think Hit and Run is a game. Yeah, I think both of them are different, I think. 
Yeah, one of them's a GTA clone, the other one's a crazy taxi clone. Uh, I think one or both of them's downstairs. It's a small thing. One of my favorite fucking visual gags of all time on The Simpsons is when Homer is uh when Homer skips church and oh, and, and the house is on fire and Ned tries to yeah. save him and he throws the mattress out the window and he, he gives a quick prayer and, and tells God to lead Homer to, like, to safety. He throws him out the window, the mattress, <laughs> and, and he back. bounces right back into the back. house. <laughs> that, that, that's also great in the gorge scene where he jumps the gorge and he falls down. <laughs> and then, then, then the ambulance comes. Oh, the ambulance, down. like him being loaded into the ambulance, yeah. the ambulance going two feet before he hits the wall and he falls yes. back down. <laughs> 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 oh, Simpsons is perfect. I think one of my favorite gags that my fucking dad love was uh, when Bart changed the hymn to fucking Iron Butterfly. That's Wait so good. This sounds, like, this sounds like rock and or roll. Uh, I'm just a big toasty cinnamon bun. I never <laughs> want to leave this bed. My favorite, uh, uh my favorite. Gotta take a whiz. Come on, come on, you talked about the best part. I want to leave this bed. Uh oh. Gotta take a whiz. <laughs> think, man. Think. Think, think, think. I better get up. <laughs> <laughs> so relatable. So relatable. As you were saying, Clark. Oh yeah, uh, one of my favorite um, what you calls it? Uh, one of my favorite Doctor Doctor Nick lines is uh, the one where if, if you guys remember when Mr. Burns gets killed. I mean, well, let me get shot. Get, get shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then he comes in, and and since Mr. Burns can only say the name Homer Simpson. He says, hi, everybody. And then Mr. Burns just sits up and goes, oh, Mr. Simpson. Inflammable means flammable water country. <laughs> no, I should just say speak. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> It's on fire! Inflammable means flammable? What a country! <laughs> why, does that, why does that sound like Ryan's stream setup? <laughs> ben, you need to put more Simpsons quotes in. That's awesome. Well, send me a list over. I'll isolate them. Cool. I only, ha only have half a page for some reason. Cool. I'll send you a list too. You can utilize that probably for extra. Boring! <laughs> or not. <laughs> Lisa needs braces. Oh my god. Lisa needs braces. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Just one of those things that is embedded into your head because of how repetitive it is. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, and people are saying dental plan in the chat now. Yeah. Just, just, to celebrate Mrs. Burns, Mr. Burns' birthday, here's the Ramones! <laughs> Have the Rolling Stones killed. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to Ooh, you! Bacon. Happy birthday! Birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Gonna oh, hell oh, you, ugly yeah, yeah, bastard. <laughs> and that Have fucking face he makes when the curtains are closing. <laughs> Have the Rolling Stones killed. Mmm, <laughs> 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 chicken. Mmm, undisclosed meat. <laughs> <laughs> that's not me. Yeah, that sounds like so. Someone's audio is splitting in through. That ain't mine. Oh, is that from the music Jason. album? Yeah, it's Jason. Oh, okay, it's Jason. Oh, Jason, it's coming in too low. I can't hear it at all. I saw uh, a copyright claim. Uh, yeah, I guess Fox truthfully, actually probably uh, Discord would. was muted. Yeah. <laughs> There's also the episode where uh, Mo wins the Duck Brewery competition. And oh, then he goes yeah. to... And then he smacks a Duff Man and is like, Duff Man, can't breathe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, what's the point? No one ever gets what they want. I know how that feels, sir. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mr. Smithers. Smithers. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Smithers. You know how to turn me on. Probably check on that. I <laughs> have another topic. The preparations for your birthday have begun. They won't get what I really want. No one does. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you can isolate a lot of that for. for, for the... Yeah, just the. Mr. Smith. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it's gonna loop. Oh, no. Yeah, isolate that. It'll be a little. Oh. Wait, 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 there's speed shoes <laughs> in that balloon. Okay. Play that, play that right after Bust a Nut. <laughs> <laughs> there's no rank for heroes. Yeah, but never do. <laughs> Bo! No, please stop, 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 stop. That's the one we got the most complaints for. <laughs> oh. No, no, Who doesn't believe? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah, <laughs> so am I. You should have been able to pull one up. Bust a nut, bust a nut. Grab a bag of corn nuts and bust a nut. <laughs> oh, Christ, no. I'm so hungry that I can come. <laughs> I'm so hungry I could bust a nut. Well, I'm not actually. Yeah, it's like no, that. I meant everything. So everywhere. I needed to come. So if you, if so you... I needed, so, so I needed to come. <laughs> was that Mario Mania or was that Donkey Kong? Mario Mania. Was Mario Mania okay? That was Mario Mania. Mania? Master, yeah. Danger. It was. Yeah. Uh, as long as you don't do the Cabbage Patch thing again. Oh God. Which one was that? That was the, oh, I'm horny because I'm 18 years old thing. The, that, what? That no, the Have you used of Anthony Pinto to move? Oh, I don't remember that at all. It was the soundboard. Remember? I think you were asleep on that app. No. No, you were playing. Hang on. Let me see. Yeah. Time. I'm not, not, not yeah. I, I, I'm just quoting what happened. <laughs> uh, what page did I put it on? Gabbo, Gabbo, Gabbo. Who's Gabbo? Oh, I'm Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Yeah, that's from that's an old phone number. Is that Pepper Scratch Kid or a Scratch Kid? <laughs> the, nobody died to fruit though, Omega. I think your optical sensors are a little well, shot there, buddy. The phone number that Matt Brent brought up in a uh, God of War, whenever he was just rambling off a uh, all right a number. That actually went to a sex line. Yeah, it's a, it's a sex line now. What? Oh, do you want, want to try it? I can do it. Do you want to oh, give it a shot? Good. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Dropping, yeah. dropping in the uh, Discord. What, what the one where like where you apparently call Kratos and shit yeah. like that? It's apparently no, a no, sex no, line no. now. It, so that line still exists. Okay. Matt rambled off a random fucking phone number, and it happened to be a fucking sex line. Dude, oh, can we can we pull that part up? Can we get that number specifically? Oh still, my we, god. We still yeah, got about like 40 minutes, yeah. Only I could fucking pull that shit off. I mean, we need a you or Roger Rabbit, so. That's hilarious. You can stroke my cock like a piston for 99 cents a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> for 99 cents a listen, I'll stroke my cock like a piston. <laughs> And everybody re up and comes all the way. All the way? <laughs> that song is too fucking good to be in a porn parody. I want to know how many fucking takes it took him to do that before corpsing. <laughs> oh, God. Pasta nut? <laughs> that was the best time we've been there. Yeah. Oh, I can ignore this dude. Hey, yeah, there's like one of the few you can just skip. 30 minutes of your session's free. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, me and the wife are going to get something to eat, so I'll yeah. talk to y'all later. Well, I guess the burgers weren't that satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They weren't. You saw them. They were the saddest burgers I ever saw. It's my mistake of trying to use the fucking homing attack on a homing attack chain. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good night, Fonz. See you later, Fonz. Let's go. Woo!
Fua. Fua. Can I go oh, to the shit. right side? Cause I don't trust the homing attack. That's. <laughs> It's annoying. Oh, nothing, it just fucking sucks. Mario Party net play? Uh, Mario Party net. Oh, like Mario Party through, like, uh, through Parsec or some other shit. It's possible. We just need a day to set it up and to make sure our internet oh, connections are stable I, enough. I, I have that set up. You're talking about for, like, I have, you need Project 64, uh, uh, Dolphin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, if somebody likes to then I'll download it. I could, my laptop is strong enough to run it. Well, it's like you don't even need to run it, though, Matt. If one person just needs to run it. You just need to uh, hop into the screen and plug your controller in your computer. That's it. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's usually, um, you just have to forward your ports. If yeah. You, if you, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it, all you would need, though, is the, um, I think everybody has to have the same save, right? I don't recall. Yeah, cause that's how we do it. Um, but if there's an easier way, because it's easier to do it for the N64 games, the GameCube ones get a little finicky with the graphics and stuff. It but because Dolphin Emulation is not perfect, yeah. it's great, but it's not perfect. Yeah, but it's getting damn well close. It's getting damn well close. Yes. Yeah. I did play Kirby oh. Air Ride on Dolphin for the review, and I only did oh, that yeah. because it was pretty much indistinguishable. All you need is an official Nintendo C and D, and you're all set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more like I wish that Nintendo could make things easier because if, if it's possible to play that stuff online, like natively without with going through all these hoops about net play, why doesn't like Nintendo make it official and make it like more accessible? Because imagine playing Mario Party on the Switch or under the Nintendo uh, online stuff. That would be great. That really would. The yeah, because we could, you could literally have Mario Party nights, and it wouldn't be too much on the server because it's like an N64 title. Yeah, I, it's, it's just, yeah that sounds yeah. fun. Playing a party say, game with this? friends over. <laughs> yeah, but see, part and parcel of what made Mario Party really fun was the threat, was the ever looming threat of your friend punching your mouth out if you stole his cards. Yeah. Um, I have favorite? a joke for you. So. Now, now what's your what's your what's your favorite Mario Party? Is it? I think three and four have the best items because you can steal more. From uh, I like three the most, but Three's I played a shitload of four, and I actually like five too. Yeah. The only Mario Party I can't say I'm fond of is one because of a rotating palm mini game, and yeah. I think six at the most boring board. Yeah, but I love four, three because of the um the board that we always play on is the the desert what's where it's the two stars and it's the mirage. Uh huh. Was, was the screen always that dark for the alligator section? Yes. Screen dark. Yes. Uh, I don't. No, because the screen then got bright in the middle of it. Oh. Huh. I, I think it's because it was a, like an over uh, a delay on the the, the frog, but I don't know. Yeah, if you're gonna do net play, you probably shouldn't be on Wi-Fi. No, you should have. You should be plugged into your router. Yeah, you should be routered. Yeah, um, just make sure you do you know, that. That's also a thing. Yeah. Means I gotta have freaking. No, it's not really all that hard to bring up. Where's the router in your house? Is it in your living room or? Uh... Mine's is in the second floor, but I can easily move it down to the living room. All I gotta do is take it. A... Oh. <laughs> it's in the dry. It's on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the yeah. toilet. Yeah, and even even then, so you can also even get an extender, a Wi-Fi extender, put it in an outlet, and plug the U the um the Ethernet cable into that into your your computer, and it should still uh, count as a wire connection. Uh, I mean, Matt's a technician, so I think he probably knows about that. Uh, I do. Uh, so I, uh, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt, I didn't know. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. What did you say something about I don't know. But, um, oh, well, Wi Fi range extenders, like, I don't know what they are. Who are those guys? And how do they know? Because if you just plug your, your Ethernet port into that, because those are always. <laughs> hey, look, a win's a win, so. <laughs> how did you win? I had no idea. Just See, Johnny, I think you got your copy of Sonic Heroes from the same place I got that copy hey! of Super. Of the Lost Levels for Mario Mania. Right. <laughs> That's right. Mario is Luigi. I'm waiting to find Rob or Dr. Eggman in that part of the ship, and it's just a door. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm here with Catherine Hepburn's mom. Tell me, why did you throw the blue heart of the ocean jewel over the railing of the Titanic? Did you feel bad at all letting Leo DiCaprio drown while you were safe floating on the big door? Did you have taken turns? Or were you just too afraid to freeze your big fat ass off? Back to you, fuckers. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> that actually fit with the, 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 the thing on screen. Oh, oh. oh yeah, the well, the little monologue they do in the beginning of the level. Yeah, I love that movie. Or <laughs> like the Great Falls is <laughs> the crap. Is the four people eroding beneath me? Is everyone eroding. Eroding. <laughs> eroding. Yeah, Bruce Almighty was great. I like how it asked a real serious question, too. It just took a piss with it. Like, hey, guess what, asshole? You're God for a day now. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to make my girlfriend's breast bigger. I mean, that's one good use of your power, but... What's going on? It's just amazing that that movie went on to create the sequel, which is considered one of the worst movies ever created. Oh, Evan Almighty. Uh... I think it's because that was uh, a Steve, Steve Carell was already hot off the office, or at least in the middle of the office run. Yeah, it was, it was probably seven. why they thought like oh, you know he could, he could probably carry the movie on his own. It's like I mean he, he's a phenomenal actor. He's a great comedian, but it's like uh, not. It's not him that ruined the movie. I think it was just the writing. Yeah, it was like written like a children's movie. I, I've only saw it once. Oh yeah. I'm yep. gonna make my dog be in the toilet. That's a good use for it, though. As long as you can make your dog flush afterward. <laughs> Rouge, for the record, can lift a. How many? How much does Omega weigh? About 108, I think. Five pounds. <laughs> A ton, actually a ton, says uh, Ali Muller. Is that in the manual? If he weighs one ton, then Rouge is able to lift one ton with one hand. Hey, I mean, yikes! Works out. What the hell is that? Are those little rings making that noise? Yeah, they make bouncing sounds when you throw them out. Why? Uh -huh. Now that you threw your rings out, I don't know. I guess so. I always thought they were dumb. Yeah, fuck rings. Because none of the enemy, well, not. Real rings, the, the dummy rings you throw out because they're little bots. Uh, oh, yeah. But, like, an enemy is most likely never going to hit the damn thing. No. It's like a gun that only works if you aim it off your nose. <laughs> I mean, it works, but you hit the wrong target. <laughs> it's a desperation a attack for f <laughs> flying formation that, I mean, yeah, it's very desperate. Why can't I punch you? <laughs> Everyone leave. I have to poop. Hey, how's it going to the two game? Omega is officially 2,712.82 pounds. So a little over a ton. Holy fuck. That was a ton and a half. How does he weigh that much? What the hell is in him that weighs that much? My fucking dick! <laughs> <laughs> My cock, <laughs> simpleton. Especially one of those high iron diets. <laughs> See that shadow? My dick. Rubble in the jungle. Your dick got touched by your uncle. Baba Booey. <laughs> Baba Louie, Baba Louie, Baba Louie. <laughs> Body weight might be relative to maybe he has his. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just came up on that halfway. <laughs> that was just like a thought that was aborted halfway through. It what? <laughs> All right, I'm back. Hey, just... You better so hope. It looks like you the phone hope. number has been taken. Say what? You better hope. Oh. Yeah, the phone number has been taken, and what's funny is that it was Ginny's phone number. Really? Yes. Who's phone number? Horny Jenny. Mm, hi, I'm Jenny, and I just turned 18, and I've never been hornier ever. Why did that sound like fucking Toy Story Rule 34 going bad? Very bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Toy Story. Oh, what I would have loved to see when they went, entered the adult toy section. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, What's Toy do. Story porn gone good? Yeah. <laughs> oh, could you imagine if they Yeah, what's a positive Toy Story porn movie? I have no fucking idea. It's big, scary, <laughs> and big! <laughs> Although you have to confess, that sounds like Spongebob's really bad experience at, at a third base. <laughs> oh god. Sounds like a ground rule double. <laughs> what? <laughs> Instead of a home run. It's also messing with my head that I learned the other day that the uh, secretary in Ghostbusters is the voice of uh, Bo Peep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I can hear it now. I, you see, I don't learn about that sort of shit unless I, like, skim across it on an Amazon trivia section. <laughs> What's happening to us? Yeah, but she also plays Mima in Young Sheldon, if anyone cares. Uh, I don't I don't like Big Bang Theory, so I wouldn't watch the spinoff. I gave that show I think it's a case for me where I get, where I turned on one episode and it was all the dorks making fun of one guy who was trying to make a legitimate effort to befriend them. I was like, Wow, fuck these people and I was it's, gone. It's not even a, ma a matter of having the uh protagonists or just like the character to make the central characters relatable or likable. It's just the same joke. Like, to me, it's every time I caught it randomly while, like, channel surfing or I was leaking somebody else's house that was watching the show, it's always the same fucking joke. Or at least the same setup for a joke. It's like, her, her, they're nerds. And I was like, uh, yeah, so, but what else? Yeah. Um, We've been watching Young Sheldon in my house. I like it more than the Big Bang Theory now, because but I essentially view it as the Goldbergs with Big Bang Theory characters. That's essentially what it is. Goldbergs is great. Yeah, I think the... Season premiere is on Thursday with um an airplane tribute. You go first. Yeah. Also, like I don't know if you guys ever watched it, but Fraser is very smart. That's a very big left turn, but yes, Fraser is a good <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big Bang Theory, Young Sheldon, Goldberg's, Fraser, Larry <laughs> King is good too. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't play it on the soundboard whenever John was mentioning the setup for each episode. Uh, which one? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I don't know that's. That's from the college. What? Episode. You can kiss my <laughs> ass. That's from the, that's from the college. Episode. <laughs> yep. That's a great episode too. Another, yeah, and uh, I, I just remembered the uh, other one where um, Bart gets an elephant, and then uh, they like they like crash, and and Homer's like doe, and then Marge is like a deer, and then a female just, like, deer. <laughs> Sound of music. Uh, can I break this? Because so goddamn cute. Oh yeah, no, you can't break that one. Interesting. All right, I don't know why you can't break this one. You break the other ones. I think they make it so like the ones that are essential can't be broken. But you can just use life formation to get up here. I don't know. I probably gotta kill that enemy to get the door open. I don't know. I can just kill him. Uh, everybody's level three. Okay. The thing though is that I the, the, that keeps creeping up in the back of my mind is like at some point I'm gonna have to revisit this stage with a different, complete fucking different mentality. How, about, how many uh, teams have you completed so far? Uh, I've completed Rose and Chaotix. Oh, okay. And then we spun the wheel to choose which uh, next team in Team Dark won. So. Chaos control. You got the easy one done first, too. Yeah, well, yeah, because if I'm going to jump into Sonic Heroes, I'm going to use the team I like the most. Oh, how long has it been since you played it since you first, uh, how long was it? Well, this is session played? four, so this is my fourth, uh, yeah, fourth session. I hope, I hope that's what it means. No, um, no, I mean, at, like, the last time you played it before you Oh, started. before the whole live stream series? Uh, uh, when I raced it for charity for, uh, from the charity. Oh, okay. So, so like, about a, a year and a half? Uh, two years, two years. Yeah. Years, mostly two years. Or was it was that Sonic Zeros? That was Sonic Zeros. Yeah, that was charity event. Uh, the one day charity event because we just uh, played through every story. Yeah, I know we. I don't remember who won when we played. I think you beat me by like not that far. I think I was like stuck on the final boss when and you beat it before I did. Remember, you whipped my ass in Sonic Sonic Advance two. Underground. No, I think yeah, both you gave Sonic, up on both Sonic Advance. Uh, wait, wait, Sonic wait, Advance. Wait. Sonic Advance 1 and 2, you with my ass. Well, Ben actually beat you in one? Well, because Ben actually oh, 
Uh, I, beat, oh. I did beat him in Sonic 1. Yes. Sonic 2, I would have beat him if I would have remembered how to get past the um, the launcher in, um, what's it called, Wing Fortress then? Wing Fortress, that, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. The one where you had to kind of let yourself coast into it? Yeah. I, I got stuck there just long yeah. enough for you to get ahead of me. Every Sonic 3, we were than me. in sync. Every time I can't I get past the water. Every time I've watched you guys race, which is on the Mario Mania and the DK Mania thing, uh, Ben always quit halfway through. Because <laughs> <laughs> it depends on the game in question. Like, I mean, Sonic 06 wasn't fair. I was giving John like speedrun strats. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, what the hell? What, what do you mean I got? Or no, remember I got, we were like half an hour in, but I died before like the first save point and I had to fucking start over. God. So did you guys just utilize the glitches to get it done as quickly as you could? I guess that's what Johnny did. I wasn't paying attention. Because uh, that's what I had to do for DK6 before I skipped like seven worlds. I also love the part of the Sonic stream where I spent like an hour trying to get past that stupid um God. puzzle and lost labyrinth. An hour? Jeez. Good gamer 1646. First time in the club, huh? <laughs> I think what was great about that too was that Gibby randomly came down to Johnny's to like give me moral support. I had nothing in controller, he couldn't beat it either. <laughs> oh shit. This part is so trippy. Yeah. We're not even at the end of the stage yet. Sucks. I think we still got like five minutes left of the stage. Oh no, no, wait. I'm thinking of Mystic no, this Mansion. Is the end. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking of level. Yeah, I'm thinking of Mystic Mansion. That's the boss. I'm going to bring it up before going to the fucking gold ring. Now my A is going to be an E. <laughs> B! Probably would have been an A if I didn't get hit. E! Uh. <laughs> the Pokemon Master Race is your favorite Alpha Maverick? Uh, no, I gotta say Mario Mania is still uh, way up there. I love how Mario Mania came out. That was great. But, see, Pelican, I think my favorite part of the Master Race was like the like the two hours the one person that was doing commentary kept like dropping their connection. Yeah, They're like, alright, I think we got it. I, yeah, I, I, was, I watched a bit of the Master Race and I was like, shit, that looked really fun. I think Master Race was, looked really fun. Really nice. I would like to do it again for Gen 2, but yeah, I would. Yeah, that requires well, we, way more of a setup. Mm -hmm. Not for Gen. There must be a for Gen I, 2 I, I to complete the Pokedex, so we, 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 oh, we yeah. would be completing the Poke. Yeah, because I would want to be completing the Pokedex. Yeah, you, 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 you would need. Uh, you would just need gold and silver, right? Because all the and you would just need your completed Pokedexes. The from thing the is, you can't okay. complete the national decks because you have to. Get me. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get Mew and Mew to oh. and such from Gen One. Yeah, but that would be fun for a season. I mean, granted, we could just trade them from our copies of Gen One. You do have the time machine available to you, right? Yeah. Um, well, Clark and I have been spinning some ideas about what to do when we go back to Pokemon, and yeah, that'd be great. Also, I guess I guess I gotta buy three more capture cards to do that idea, though. <laughs> well, I can I can probably get one too if you need, but also um. It would be, Why not uh, just emulate? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> There's your answer. How do you like that? Also, imagine the inevitable. We were gonna game. do that for Master Race, but we couldn't get the um the linking to work. I was I was talking. I, I don't know how this would do, but I think doing a Mario party at least for Mario Mania Two would be fun. No, it's boring to watch. What Mario Party? Wait, how are you trying to do the linking? Wait, wait, hold on. You, you're you're against doing Mario Party for a uh, for part of Mario Mania because it'd be boring to watch. It's not the point. People just like people bitching. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You can't. It's not Ruined Mario Party. It's, Some of our most highest rated Mario views Party. on SGB are the drunk Mario Party stuff. Exactly. It's yeah. not a Mario Party without the blooming front of fire. That, that that's what I just mean. Is like for Mario Mania two. Whenever that happens, which it will happen at some point, I imagine. Uh, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. last things that we're doing for it before SGB wraps up is we're going to do a 50-turn drunk Mario party. Are you serious? Oh, God. No. Mm. I, 
that was just something we joked about. Dude, 50 turns drunk on those rules. Yes. We'll be, everybody's going to vomit into the stick. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm saying you can stop whenever. <laughs> That, that, that sounds fucking awesome. I'm not a jock. I don't fucking pressure you to do something stupid. Friends, <laughs> yeah. friends, let friends do something stupid. Like, I wouldn't. <laughs> I like you. Oh, thank you. Well, at least a couple people in the chat agree with me. Validate me, chat, please. <laughs> Elliot is a savage when he's drunk. Elliot, uh, Elliot can't hold his liquor. Uh, that's, uh, that's 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 Elliot's only uh, uh, that's his Achilles heel when it comes to drunk Mario Party stuff. He, he can't hold his liquor very well. He'll get drunk as shit off of literally an ice take. Like, like like sniffing the vodka. Yeah. No, not even like vodka. <laughs> just like Elliot. This is just ras raspberry ice tea. Yeah. Fuck you, <laughs> <laughs> Matt. You joke about that. But whenever he was drinking all those Mountain Dews and crap, oh god! But I, he was just cranking it up deliberately, just to feel like you're, one of us because he was still underage. Yeah. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your dad works for Pepsi. It was free Mountain Dew. Was Mountain Dew Pepsi? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I, I don't. I don't drink yes. Mountain Dew. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I I know that because I asked you about that. You're like, oh, I hate Mountain Dew, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I waste all my money buying this Mountain Dew. <laughs> Why'd you assume? Why didn't you ask? <laughs> I appreciated the Mountain Dew, thank you. Random act of kindness. <laughs> Actually, I think what was also funny about that situation was I had a friend who worked at Pepsi. I asked him, like, hey, I think maybe we can get like, a sponsorship or something for the stream. And then I found out your dad works for Pepsi. I was like, oh, well, I guess this is stupid of me to ask. <laughs> Coke is better than Pepsi in the middle of a meal, I will agree. I think Coke is better than Pepsi in general. I will vehemently disagree that I despise Coke, but I love Pepsi. What is it about Coke you don't like? Coke well, re tastes re like canned syrup to me. It well, in my review, it'll fuck you. Yeah. Coke's better. <laughs> <laughs> my review, kiss my ass. <laughs> but I will say that Cherry Coke and Cherry Pepsi are much better. Yes, the cherry versions of both are great. Like, oh, like I will one. get a Cherry Coke at the movies, but like a regular Coke, I would rather drink like motor oil. Oh Christ! Now fuck you! <laughs> yeah. to whoop your ass next time for that one. I'm controversial with that kind of stuff because I also prefer Sierra Mist to Sprite. Which they're is the like same really fucking thing. That's no, they're not. The yes, they thing. are. Yes, like people, like I, I'll fight like people saying Coke is tastes the same as Pepsi. It's like no, it does not. Sprite and Sierra Mist, though, come I on, do, identical. Yeah, yeah. I do not, I they're virtually know. identical. I don't taste a difference either, but I don't really drink those. And also, can I just say, a Sprite out of a Coke Sierra freestyle Pepsi. machine tastes terrible. Oh, I, or not I, Coke. Wait, did you say Sprite and Sierra Mist taste the same? Yes. I'd say more so like Sierra Mist and like Mist Twist, but not Sprite. No, to me, Sierra well, Mist. Mist Twist is Sierra Mist. This is what they rebranded it as. But then they switched it back. We have both here. Ago. Yeah, you know both what tastes here? the same? Sierra Mist and Sierra Mist. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, we're switching. They're switching. But, oh, yeah, but yeah, because like Wawa has all the Coke freestyle machines, which is, you know, those are those big Coke machines where you can get like 800 different combinations. And I think the Sprite out of it tastes terrible. But if you ever try the freestyle version of Cherry Coke, it tastes more cherry and it actually tastes better. Well, I don't like the flavors out of those machines because they taste so artificial and gross. I, I, I mean, it's all artificial, though. Right? I know, but like, this tastes more so out of the machine. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It, it's Coke vibe. tastes better out of a, a vending. Uh, well, not a vending, but straight out of a fountain uh, dispenser. Yep. Yes. I like Coke straight out of anything. Coke's delicious. I love Coke. Like, Coke I'm, tastes I'm, better like, from I'm, the I haven't had soda plant. in a long fucking time anyway, but still. like, if I'm, I'm in the middle of a meal. If I'm in a diner or a movie theater, I'm having Coke. Yeah. It's, uh, it's but what about the Coke factory? It's best in the glass. I've never been to no, the Coke factory. It's best in a can, actually. Uh, yeah, I would say Coke is best on a can. Wait, you live 30 seconds from the Coke factory? You never actually went? No. Because there's that one off of Erie Avenue. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, I know what you're talking about, but no, i never actually been inside that building. Oh, yeah, I doubt they do tours given the area it's in. Apparently, the Coke place or the Coke museum or whatever it is in um, Atlanta is pretty cool to visit. What do you mean? We were going to go there last year, but ended up going to the aquarium instead. Was the were the tanks filled of coke? 
<laughs> shooting out of Omega's can causes so much friction, it actually light torches up. Holy shit. Just jellyfish swimming in coke. <laughs> No, 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 where the fuck is my team blast? You remember the, um, remember the Pepsi 1883 line? The Pepsi 1883? Yeah, oh, I remember that you one. Mean, uh, the like the one that was, yeah, that was okay. The ginger brand was Yeah, good. they're... What was they're the like premise chasers, behind that basically. branding? They made it with some of the more. They made it with much more natural sugars, I think. Well, that are only available in 1880. Actual alcoholic drinks in mind, so you'd use it to mix into drinks. Mm. Oh. Right. Yeah, I do heavily prefer the Pepsi made of real sugar, but it's hard to find it at my supermarket for some reason. Oh, is that the one that uses the old school branding? That's how they used to do it, but they simplified it, so it's just it just says Pepsi with mm -hmm. natural okay. sugar. Because I I got, was in, I got into that drink because of the throwback logo. I love the old school Pepsi logo. Like that's vintage as hell to me, but I didn't like the way it tastes. What? Yeah, I I, I prefer it over regular Pepsi's. Uh, no, I still like regular Pepsi. Yeah, I still like both, but I do appreciate the I like the real sugar one when I can get it. Yeah, Doctor Pepper. No, Doctor Pepper. Uh, Doctor Pepper has uh, done one too many sneak attacks. Maybe for me, we respect it anymore. Sneak attacks. Yeah, <laughs> there, dude, and it's always from the same fucking. Oh god. So every once in a while, like I'll I'll order a, a meal around like eleven or twelve. If if it's gonna be a long night and I'm gonna be on the editing chair all night, I'll I'll, I'll order something from like Wendy's or Burger King if they're open. And most of the time, it's fucking. I ask for a Coke or at the most at the most a water. And they put fucking Dr. Pepper in my cup instead. I was oh like, "Can you? You can at least call me saying that we don't have Coke. What would you? What else would you like? You know." But they don't, and I get fucking ambushed by Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's an asshole. <laughs> he also costs a thousand years of darkness to make a man yeah. I mean, It's better than Miss, It's better than uh, Mr. Pib. It's the same thing, though, isn't it? I, no. I don't understand what the difference is. They are different. It's just but different like, branding. Yeah. Just different. I don't even know who owns it because you see both of them in a freaking uh, Coke. Uh, Felton. But what about Pib Extra? Mr. Pib is Doctor Mr. Pib is Doctor Pepper's less successful cousin. I know Doctor Thunder. There was a Doctor Thunder in West PA. There's a story and Doctor Wham. I don't know what that is. There's a story about Doctor Pib though, because Doctor Pepper actually is in Pepsi bottles in some parts of the country. So well, uh, Doctor Pepper's a third party. Yeah. They're not like Pepsi or Coke. Right. Oh, so sorry. it depends on where you are. They'll be bottled differently. So for Alabama. Dr. Pepper is basically bottled by themselves, but mm -hmm. if you move over to Tennessee, Dr. Pepper, I think, is bottled by Pepsi Co uh, Pepsi Co and Buffalo Rock. So I would imagine Dr. Pib is just uh, the, the the alternative for Coke in case they don't have the rights to distribute the Dr. Pepper or anything. And it's <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I just the Coke first will time actually I... distribute it here. I just remember the first time I had Mr. Pib. It was at... um. Checkers when that opened up in the um, uh, by the mall. Do you remember that back in the day, Clark? Oh, yeah, you know, in that building that's guaranteed to fail. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, Dr. Pepper isn't as tangential as Sundrop. This looks like a screensaver. I uh, hate this part of the level because, like, the perspective totally changes, it makes it hard to see this. Well, this also doesn't look like this in like the GameCube version. Mm hmm. But does it look, uh, you can, it's you can it's more of a sparkly black void. Yeah, oh, yeah. And you can see the floor in the GameCube version. Just watch this. What is this it's like those effects in the um, the old Windows music player. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it looks like a screensaver. Yeah, I don't think you have to actually do the homing attack thing here, though. I think that's only in the Sonic run. No, I think you have to do all three of them as Team Dark. Oh no, what I'm saying is you don't have to do the homing attack thing on the pumpkins to get back. You just kill the enemies, then you switch the um thing back. Are you sure? That's why there's two switches there. Also, good lord, the compression. <laughs> A bunch of JPEGs. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, favorite beers are asking. Uh, Baron, same as asking. Uh, I am Stella. I like Stella Artois. That's my favorite beer. Dosakis. Like Dosakis. I mean, that's the real answer. But Dosakis. Uh, <laughs> Dosakis is another good. Uh, uh, no, 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 Corona Light, Corona Light, Corona Light was. Uh, Corona's a safe beer. Uh, and uh, Golden. As Monkey. long as you're six feet away. Golden Monkey. Yeah, it's like yeah, I know. I put a mask over the uh, <laughs> over the bottle. Can you? Can I feel? You know, the the idiocy <laughs> of the human race. Speaking as a human, for the record. <laughs> uh oh. Where that fucking beer almost went out of business in America because it was named Corona. <laughs> <laughs> For like the first month of the pandemic, that beer om- that beer line almost went out of business because people associated the fucking virus with the name of the drink as if I stocked up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this is gonna be an artifact at some point. I hope the the better now. Nowadays, hey, nowadays I'm likely to see it spelled as uh, Coronita rather than Coronita. just Corona, probably because people still think there's a stigma. Chaos I think Coronita is the small bottles. No, I, I've I've seen uh, bigger boxes with the regular size bottle. Like I also think it's a, uh, partly a marketing decision too. I wouldn't be surprised. They probably yeah. Uh, that sucks for them. This virus has killed our sales, <laughs> <laughs> and we have nothing to do with it. Well, I don't these people think they drink us, sir? No. Yeah, I, I guess they fare better than the HIV AIDS beer. There's a what? <laughs> I need context. Just a joke, like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, those are the beers I tend to stick with. Uh, most of the time, if I'm like giving something else to try out, so it's over at a, a social gathering, or I'm over at my uh, folks for like Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas, and they have something available. I'll give it a shot at them, but most of the time, I don't really like it. Yeah, I'm partial to root. You know, I, <laughs> I, know I tried Sam Adams. Uh, yeah. Sam Adams. Uh, dark, I think it was. Or, uh, and the October or Dennis, Yeah, the October one wasn't bad, but oh. uh, the Saturn one I thought was a little too better. You know when you can taste the barley? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like Corona because it's light enough where I can drink a lot of them. So if I'm on like a show or something with like friends being sociable, I just keep pounding Coronas because they're light enough to do that with. I like t- when well, I want a heavy or you know like a strong beer. I like doing a Twisted Monkey from um, Victory, and then you know, uh, Yin Yang is always a safety. Yeah. And I am. Cheap. I'm willing to open my palate for beers. Uh, hard liquors are another story, though. I am really picky with liquors and uh, whiskeys. Yeah, my mom likes to get uh, Heineken's. Heineken. Heineke, uh, you mean, oh, Heineken's? <laughs> Heineken, yeah. Oh, yeah Heineken's? Or, uh, he's like haikus and Heineken on a Friday night. What a great yeah, time. His mom likes Heineken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Who doesn't like Heineken? If I do Thunder Shoot, that. Probably, yeah, she's gonna stop. Fuck, I'm just doing it too much. I can't do rum all that much, honestly. Oh, uh, God. Love when rum. I, when was the last time I had rum? Rum is Makes good, my I bones rum. ache. Yeah. You bitch. <laughs> Storm's coming, Annie. Rum, rum, Rudolph. <laughs> love me some rum, love me some <laughs> Is that rum, the way that... Rum, rum, Rudolph. Rum, rum, Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like okay. vodka raw. The, the rest of the... Vodka straight? Really? I don't like vodka straight, no. Uh, what kind of vodka have you had? If it's Ciroc, I get it. Because Ciroc, Ciroc is fucking nail polish remover. Yeah. That was it. That was Ciroc. And Ciroc was like, wow, I pretty much just drank Snowball Fuel Fuel. What about, yeah, no, seriously. What about Crystal Head? I haven't had that. I think you'll like that, Ron. Crystal Head sounds somebody, somebody mentioned that white Russians are nice. Yeah, they're pretty hot ladies. What's a, <laughs> what about black what, Russians? What is a white, yeah, what's a white Russian? Why isn't there a black Russian? <laughs> no, that's just another question, though. What the hell is a white Russian? If you want a good drink that I recommend, it, it, it kind of bit of a workaround to get to it because you have to add a lot of ingredients to it. A Pimp's Cup is actually really fucking good. It's called a what? A Pimm's Cup. A Pimm's uh, Cup? It uses Pimm's liquor as a base, uh, strawberries, cucumber, and 7-Up. And you can drink. 
<laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, no, Hank Pym. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, that was a slow burn. <laughs> or grow big, honestly. I also like vodka. Keep, oh, yeah. keep forgetting that. Uh, I do not like tequila. No. Tequila. I just, like tequila. Ugh. Tequila is one of those drinks that just thinking about makes me ugh, makes me uh, kind of stretch my face. Tequila. For me, scotch is one I can't get into either. Okay, okay no, I was thinking of bourbon because I was like, I thought you were big on it. Like, no, never mind. I, I was thinking of bourbon. No, I like hard liquor, but yeah, bourbon I'll do. I just don't like scotch. It just don't taste right to me. Whiskey tastes like old leather. Oh well, yeah, if you drink it wrong. I'd love to try tequila, but I can't, you know, drink while out and about, unfortunately. Because uh, we already discussed Uber prices and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> and just ride sharing services here being like absolute garbage. Premiums nowadays, yeah. Just no, just garbage people. Where is that, too? There's poor turtles. No, the poor turtles. Oh, the you're ordering Wendy's on the south side of town. I thought you meant the west side of town. <laughs> well, oh, we already put it in app. the car. What the fuck? <laughs> the driver's already on the way, so you're kind of locked down now. I mean, you could cancel the order, but we're still going to charge you. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so that's me in the background. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What the f? Fuck, I'm just doing gas control. Oh, what the f? That's cognac? a long one. <laughs> I've never had cognac. What's cognac? Cognac. It's, um. Uh... Oh, is that pronounced? Pronounced? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's cognac. <laughs> it's co. Okay, so I'm sorry. It's like phonetically, it looks like it's spelled cognac. I think cognac is something you've got to get a taste for. I'm not a personal fan. Of it. It's not my personal go to, but if it's done right and I'm in the mood for it, I'll enjoy it. But cognac is really one of those, either you have a taste for it and you like it, or you don't and it sucks. Uh, favorite liquor in general, though? Like a hard booze, like a real hard booze. Like, I had enough of today's shit, <laughs> and it's time to just forget about it. What is your go-to drink to just help you fucking forget? What's the S'mores Moonshine. Moonshine? Moon? My friend Alyssa S'mores can make Moonshine. moonshine. My friend Alyssa can actually make moonshine. I think so my grandpa can make medicine. it too. Yeah. Oh, she makes a real bang. She makes a real banging answer. I don't think moonshine. I've ever had moonshine though. No. Moonshine is one of those deceptive drinks. Like you drink it, I was like, hey, this is like a fruit hey. punch or something like that. This is a piece of shit. You <laughs> <laughs> literally gave me a piece of shit. Oh, you had turd moonshine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, no, the scary part of moonshine is that you don't know you're drinking. <laughs> it's like Irish coffee, dude. You don't realize what it is, oh. so it tastes, it tastes so fruity and sweet. And then you're on the floor begging to God to kill you. And you're like, what did I happen to this? <laughs> yeah, Jim Beam bourbon's a pretty safe bet for me these days. Long Island is mine. Uh, yeah, Robert Chase, thank you. No oh, is... yeah, Robin, Robin Pepsi's also a good safe Long thing. Island is my, I want to forget the rest of the day, so I will mm -hmm. guzzle down. All right, all right, my limit's two. If I have three... I'm up chucking it the next day. And there is no worse feeling in the world. I absolutely fucking hate it. I don't know why people fucking live by this. But the idea of just like, oh, man, I'm going to fucking just puke all this out tomorrow. I'm going to do it again. I know a lot of fucking uh, frat heads in college that did that shit. I do remember one time I, during one of those like surprise snowstorms, it took me like seven hours to get from Center City to home. Which you know is not that far. No, it's not far at all. And to make it better, I had a Uber passenger in my car with me for the whole journey back that way. Oh god! So poor girl, she had to pay like three hundred dollars for the ride. Oh, I couldn't do anything nice. about it. Yeah, I guess you know, it was it was a surge rate, and it was also like a seven-hour ride. And she didn't really speak English, so it was just like an awkward ride for both of us. Yes, I would agree. Then, uh, please remember, to, if you're going to binge drink or for anything, just make sure you fucking eat something beforehand. Like, don't well, I did I, what I did when I got home after all that was I got home, I silently walked in the house, I went to the kitchen, and I just finished off the bottle of Jameson I had on top of the fridge. It was like half a bottle. <laughs> At least you made for me, it's for me, it's just the basic like Jack and Coke or bourbon and Coke or basically like a Coke, a drink and a soda mixture. Like um, 
Oak and Coke, uh, Jack and Ginger, stuff like that. Yeah, Jack and Coke is over-reliable for me. As much as I don't really drink whiskey that much anymore, uh, I can still rely on a Jack and Coke. Yep. The Coke, the Coke is helpful for the Jack because it'll help draw out the cocoa ingredients in a, in a bottle of whiskey. Or you could also, also do like a, a nice apple whiskey and hot apple cider. Uh, so, uh, spiked cider is something I still haven't tried. Yet. You mean like hard cider or spiked cider? Say what? Like hard cider. Like hard, hard cider. Yeah. Yeah, Angry Orchards, you know, it's a good safety. Why is it uh, I don't know. <laughs> strong. I like Strong Bell because it has the same amount of alcohol, but it literally tastes like freaking apple juice and it's delicious. Also, so, again, that kind of it's it, it kind of sneaks up on you. For the strong bow, I say, well, the Angry Orchard, it tastes like apple beer. So it's apple piss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's yeah. slightly bearable piss because apple. <laughs> the thing is, is that um, if you really want to go one, I recommend the Reds for the ale. That's the other one I was thinking of, the Reds. I just Eliminate like, all Eggman's robots. I mm -hmm. hate that sentence. <laughs> sentence? Actually, hold on. I'm going to charge with the team blast before I head into that cannon. Also, I got to piss really bad. We're talking about apple piss. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Come on, man. Piss socket to keep it going. No, I'm not. It's like, I love 14, but I'm not that 14 player. <laughs> I don't get it, man. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, stop, 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 stop. That's taking you on a trip stop. to Flushing Meadows. <laughs> Ooh, Flushing Meadows. It's a great place in Queens. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah, There's a place called Flushing Meadows in Queens. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Please stop. Yeah. yeah, it's it's right there by Astoria. It's a really nice place. Uh, I it, they 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 have good content. By the great Ra by the Great River Rapids. Yeah. <laughs> I have a joke for you. Oops. What is a skeleton? Ah. Keep bumping my box, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mute. Or well, at least you. Fly. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna pee right here, right now. Okay, never mind. <laughs> hey, Banana Factor, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it, man. Also, I noticed the one at the end of your tag. I'm assuming because Banana Factory exclamation point was taken. I have no rings. Gee, I gotta make pee pee's too. Did you say I gotta make pee pee's? What do you fucking <laughs> eat? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> uh oh, duty. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> so here's the thing about being around Steve every morning. That was like his go to thing to say. He said he was gonna go make pee pee's and go make big potties. Okay. I that think how Steve he might be leaving. mentally a six year old. <laughs> that would explain a lot. It does roll off the tongue, though. Poop! Does Sean know you can cancel the time stop by pressing the white button again? Yes, I do, but I'm deliberately not doing that so I can turn up my team blast without being pressured. Under pressure. He's also doing to extend the time he has to wait to pee. Yeah. <laughs> wait, why would I prolong that? Well, the more you hold in your pee, the less it affects you, so... Internet affects your sexual performance if you hold it. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Has to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would they really do that? Go on the internet, tell lies. You see, that's the thing though. I didn't, I didn't get the subtlety of that joke though when I first saw it. Like, and it wasn't until like a decade later where I understood it. I just had a picture in my head of uh, Ralph Wiggum saying, "Why do people run from me and his entire pant leg gets all wet?" Your Honor, would the court be willing to grant me a short bathroom break? Can wait. Yes, it can. <laughs> I've heard that if you hold it, because you have a Yes, it can. Very
Yes, it can. But I've heard that if you hold it, you can damage the prostate gland, making it very difficult to get an erection or even become aroused. Is that true? It has to be. <laughs> In that case, I better take a little break myself. If you get back here and you get people, you can finish. <laughs> Lag. Uh, Jim Carrey in his prime. How did you guys like his performance as Eggman? I, I thought it was great. great. I thought it was great. It's, I mean, it's, it's just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey, but that, that's really all he needed to be. You guys like the movie? I thought it was okay. Okay. I, I didn't hate the film. I thought it was perfectly fine. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. The it's mother also looking joke. to be the highest grossing movie of two, 2020. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, who would have thought Paramount's that was the like last dumb. Paramount's like, that's the dumbest bucket luck they've ever stumbled upon, ever. Well, who would have thought there would be a double-digit percentage of people in the country whose last movie of the year was Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> Imagine losing to Sonic. <laughs> and it was even playing during Tenet when it came out. Well, if we figured it was a, a question for the chat before we end the session, because we're going to end the session as soon as the battle's over. But one, one last question for discussion before we decide to wrap it up. Uh, what do we figure, figure is better between the two, Detective Pikachu or Sonic the Hedgehog? As a Detective video game ad adaptation. Because to Detective me, they're kind of both on the same level. Because I thought that Detective Pikachu was okay, too. Like, I thought it was a perfectly fine family film. And it's like, I wasn't itching to go back to it. You know what I mean? It's the same with the, 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 the Sonic movie. The Sonic movie I thought was perfectly fine, but it's like, oh, I can't wait to rewatch this again. I think... I think honestly, with the the rate that video game movies have been and how bad they have been, the fact that we had two pretty solid movies that we don't need to really compare too much to, it says a lot. I think though, Detective Pikachu had a little bit more charm, in my opinion. He had a little bit more fictional characters to go into too. Yeah, as well. Yeah, that Detective uh, Pikachu had that large, colorful cast. Yeah, I'm gonna have to save my opinion for whenever. Resident Evil versus Rathalos comes out. <laughs> 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 Apparently, they learned nothing from early 2000s. Well, it's the same company. I know, and it's, it looks like a fucking Paul W. S. Anderson Resident Evil movie with just monster hunter uh, creatures. Mm -hmm. The um, same company, same director, actor, all that, and actually, they used the same sets between the Resident Evil movies and Underworld, which is why they came out so close to each other each year. All right, with that said, uh, we're going to replay the event, the ending of Adventure 2 as we end tonight's session. <laughs> and uh, with that said, I hope you guys uh, love to... I really gotta go to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> um, uh, we're gonna call it a wrap here for tonight's session. Uh, next time, we're gonna end Team Dark, and then we're gonna begin Team Sonic. Uh, the, I don't know if we're gonna be able to uh, finish Team Sonic because their levels are not as long. So who knows? We might. Oh, we probably will go the extra mile just to finish the story. Oh no! Wait, we're not. We're not starting next week because next week is the Sonic hacking contest. Uh, yeah. And uh, again, that's. Uh, let me get the exact dates ready because I don't have the panel ready for this yet. I thought uh, we canceled that. No, we, I don't. I know. Well, no. Uh, read the room, Jason. <laughs> Eight, uh, October twenty sixth to the thirtieth is my week long uh, Sonic hacking contest showcase. That's going to be from five p.m. to eight p.m. every single day. Uh, showcasing all the expo entries, then we'll look at oh uh, no the uh, the contest entries, then we'll look at the expo entries, and then uh, hopefully a lot of fun will be had. I always love doing this around this time of the year, uh, one of my favorite things to do. And uh, that said, we will reconvene tomorrow for Kingdom Hearts again. That's at five p.m. to eight p.m. And I will see you guys on Thursday for Sub Night, which is Karaoke Night. Uh, for those that are interested in joining that uh, Halloween uh, based, uh, preferably it doesn't have to be a Halloween based song, but that's what I want the theme to be. And that should be pretty fun or incredibly embarrassing. Or it could be both, you know. There's but, uh, white shit in the air. Yeah. <laughs> and Master Mash. <laughs> Into the Monster Mash. The Graveyard I Smash. All. I have a joke for you. <laughs> what is a skeleton's favorite snack? Oh, uh, Go on, gas. Yes. No. Go on, gas. <laughs> no. Come on, gas. Come. Why are you laughing? I haven't told the punchline yet. What is a skeleton's favorite snack? Gas! Gas! Fuck! Gas! Gas, goddamn you! I'm so sorry. Why won't you answer me? What is my favorite snack? No! No! What is it? Why must you fail me so often?
Ribs! Spare ribs! <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're going to raid Lucas. I will see you guys tomorrow for more Kingdom Hearts. Have a good night, everybody. Please take care. Stay safe out there.